Hey, all you cool cats and gamers! Welcome to No Category Left Behind, the GDQ Hotfix show that showcases category extension speedruns. I'm your host, Nuclear, and tonight I've got Spike Vegeta with me for definitely one of the most Christmas games I can think of because it has <laughs> one of my favorite Christmas movies in it, Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, but this time it's Randomizer with Hit List. Uh, before we get into what Hit List is, I uh, just have a couple of announcements. AGDQ 2023 online prize submissions are open from now until December 30th. Go to GameStoneQuick.com for more information. Also, the schedule for Frost Fatales 2023 is out right now. Use command FROST in chat to learn more. And if you want to follow what GameStone Quick is up to, use command LINKS in Twitch chat for all things GDQ. All right, Spike, let's get to what in the heck is Hit List Randomizer KH2. Yes, so Kingdom Hearts 2 Randomizer, maybe you all saw it uh, about a year ago, I guess, at this point that we got to do it. Uh, yeah, almost a year ago at this point. We got to do the whole cop. It was fun. Um, but uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2, you take the game, you mix it up, you ship, shop, shuffle it around like you do with all randomizers. Um, we're actually going to be spawning in what is called the Garden of Assemblage, where each of the different portals, instead of sending us to a boss fight, it's going to send us to to a given world. So one world will send us to Halloween Town, one to Agrabah, one to Olympus Coliseum, so on and so forth. What the goal of this one tonight, this is a category that I came up with about six months ago at this point, and a lot of people have loved it. I think it's one of the coolest ways to showcase this game. Uh, you're going to see on the tracker below me, below all the little rows, the little icons of each of the different worlds, there's also eight goals is what they are. I have to complete any seven of those eight goals so I need to find the items that allow me to get to those goals. And all those goals are super bosses for the most part. We'll kind of get into the differences as we get in there. So I'm going to have to potentially play to the end of a world and then defeat Data Zaldin, Data Zigbar, Data Roxas, Sephiroth, so on and so forth. A lot of these are the hardest ones. This is actually a pretty hard list to be drew. Um... The only other thing to explain about the tracker below me, each of those represent a different world. Again, Agrabah, Beast Castle, so on and so forth. The number that is next to each of them is the general total value of the things that are in that world. I can use math to basically determine looking at those and saying where I think things have to be. Generally, the bigger the number is, the more value there. That's probably where I'm going next. But it's going to be kind of a give and take based on where I want to go. So with that being said, one other thing I'm going to say about the tracker, I'm going to right click Roxas here. That's data Roxas. If they are in blue, that means I can beat them. So I need to get seven of those eight lit up in blue, and then I need to go defeat all of them. Once I defeat them, I will mark them in red, and that will mean I have completed that goal. So with that being said, that was a lot of explaining it. I think I'm ready to go. We are playing on critical mode because it's really hard, and it punishes us, and it's good stream value. So let's get the sucker started. Uh, let me bring up the video game. Uh, with that, I am ready to go in five, four, three, two, one, go. I hit live split on my side. I guess I guess it's good I can reference that. So let's immediately load in. And uh, Okay, so I can immediately look at the tracker and just kind of notice things I've got. We're seeing what our initial like collection of checks that we got to start with are. I do see I have a little bit of movement. I've got quick run, which is good. Early on, it's nice to just see some movement. So overworld traversal is going to be faster. So now if you look up there, that's where all the portals are. Ooh, we get to start with limit form. Love that. To note, we did not vet this seed at all. I'm oh, not a bad Keyblade. Um, we, I just loaded up one, loaded up a seed, loaded up a list of goals, and said, let's go. So sometimes you'll get a seed with, like, really good synergy, like, oh, the good worlds uh, have the... Uh, uh, turn, uh, yeah, we can put that on. Oh, that could be fun. That could be fun. Uh, the really good worlds. The, the worlds that have my goals in them. We'll just have all the points. They'll be where the highest value is. Sometimes it's not. This one's like, okay. The biggest world you can see there, that 68 right there, uh, that's Beast Castle. Uh, and that is a goal that's where you oh fight Gaius. What's up? Well, 68? <laughs> yes, you see all these other ones. Like Halloween Town has like six. It's ridiculous. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go there. That's so many. Yeah. I never realized yeah, that. That's a big old number. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'll probably go there pretty quickly. Yo, I love when I get to start with Donald Blizzard because that duck goes absolutely ham. He's just, they gave him a bazooka and they were like, go for it. 
Um, right there, that's kind of the initial, the two idiots we affectionately call them. Uh, you pretty much always want to come to Pride Lands first because I talked about how you want movement early on. Because you're playing as Lion Sora right here, um, you're in Tokyo Drift mode. Uh, you actually can't move any faster by coming here later. And there's a ton of checks here. So it's worth it to come here early. Now, one thing we just found out that was really nice, I got a uh, Ansem report early on, a little piece of paper. It told me about something else in another world. So I know that a different world has a cure. I don't care too much about cures, but it's good to know that's there. It eliminates pos potential checks in that area. The other thing I found was master form. So I actually already have two dry forms, which is super cool because again, on the bottom of the list, you see, once again, there's eight goals. There are seven super bosses, and we also randomly rolled drive forms being a goal. That's that little star icon down there. And what that means is you need to find all five drive forms, and you need to get all of them to level seven. So you can kind of create this, like, super cool routing dynamic of how do I level up the drives along the way. If you're not familiar with drive forms in this game, ooh, finishing plus. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, what drive forms are, basically you can go Super Saiyan. And, uh, you know, those can help you gain access to, like, different combat abilities and whatnot in the middle of fights uh, at the cost of the little drive gauge there in the bottom right corner. Also got Peter Pan. He's super cool. He can help you stun locks and bosses. Also found a reflect. And I just found a report, which are the hints of this game, that told me there was a reflect here. That's really cool. So sometimes you can get reports that are actually helpful. And then sometimes you get that where it's like, hey, remember two checks ago? Yeah, you got that. That's pretty cool. So it's whatever. It's whatever. We're almost done with the shotgun phase here of Pride Lands. There's actually still 16 points in here. Uh, so, you know, unless this last room kind of pops off, we're potentially going to have to come back here later, which I don't necessarily want to see because the super boss of this world is Data Sciex, and uh, he is not one of my goals. I did just get the proof of connection. One more thingy here. Okay, there's going to be nine points left over, which could be a major item. We'll see. We'll see later. Um, Tick Simba's ether is right there. We actually still are just rocking that Keyblade. Let's rock the ribbon. Best armors in the game. No accessories yet. Uh, boop, boop. Yeah, love that, love that. I'm going to switch to the dodge roll. And we got that Reflect. Going to switch around my Customize a little bit. Reflect, definitely the best single magic in the game. If you are uh, good at studying your opponent's attack patterns and whatnot and manipulating them to do the attacks you want them to do, then you can Reflect that attack and hit it back at them for massive, massive damage. So you mentioned, uh, obviously, we're dealing with a bunch of super bosses, but there's the one like kind of unique goal that is to level up uh, all your forms. Yes. Are there other unique form, uh, other unique goals like that that you could have rolled? Yes. Yeah, so there's both uh, this one, dry forms. There's also, this is kind of funny, there's yeeting the bear, as we say, which, Nukes, I know you've had that specific category <laughs> on the show before. I love that. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm so sad that's not a goal. So what's funny <laughs> about <laughs> that is even though it's not a goal, if you look at it, it's the little honey pot on the right side. You probably can't really make it out too well. It's a 39. There are a lot of points there, actually. So we might voluntarily be yeeting the bear as a bonus goal just because there might be a lot of things there that I need in order to beat the seed. So, Chat, let us know if you want to see the bear yeeted tonight. I would. I, I want yeah. it. I want it real yeah, bad. I think it would be <laughs> very funny. Um, another very cool thing we just found there was actually an ability called Light and Darkness. Wow. We might actually gain access to Drive Forms. We'll see. Um, light and Darkness is an ability in the game that uh, basically says every time you go into a form, you either have to go into Anti-Form or Final Form. So this is a way to effectively, kind of in a weird way, out of logic, you might say. Kind of like Bomb Choose and Ocarina of Time Randomizer. You can force Final Form out and just have it. So you hear Donald back there. He's died like three times since we walked on the screen. And Aladdin just kept chucking potions. He's always, he goes through all four of his potions in like six seconds right there. So how useful are your party members Ooh. in rando runs? Um, <laughs> generally, they're good for like their limits. So like 
Uh, Donald is actually the most useful, funny enough, despite what I just said about him, uh, because he has unbelievably powerful limits like Comet and, more importantly, Flare Force that some people might know from watching, uh, you know, various, like, GDQ runs and whatnot of this. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pop into limit form. That gives me an alternative way to break open that tent. Yeah, for, uh, I see there's a couple of people asking, uh, what is hit list randomizer for those just joining us? Um, you'll see below Spike, there is this a uh, bunch of images of a bunch of super bosses in the game that was randomly generated, and he has to kill seven of them um, mm -hmm. or level up all his dry forms. Those are the, he has to beat uh, seven of those goals down there. So once we see seven of them are red, he has completed the hit list. Yeah, and these generally take right around like, ooh, that might actually be a good place to do this. These generally take around two and a half hours. All right, we found the picture here. This world's actually almost out of value. Oh, I should have, let's, so I'm gonna put on the light and darkness ability. And then I am going to go in and out of this room after spawning the enemies each time. Because you need enemies on screen to actually allow yourself to get it. And what I am abusing right now, because anti-form is supposed to take away all my drive gauge. But if you go into a room where they take away all your party members like that. Oh. Uh, then it will actually auto revert you out of it and you will get all of your drive back. So this always takes, uh, not always, there's like a 3% chance you don't get it by then, but within five tries. Okay, so now I just have final form. Where the actual final form is, I have no idea. Doesn't really matter to me, other than like, I guess some minor logic. Um, man, there are some really good Keyblades here early on. Every Keyblade you roll will have a random stat of strength and magic between zero and seven each. Uh, and they'll also have a random ability to them. And, like, all the keyboards we have are, like, 7-3, seven, 6-7, seven, so 5-7. Like, they're they're kind of cracked. They're pretty good. I am just trying to get by. I'm using those dodge rolls. All right, there we go. So there's only five points left here in aggro. I'm definitely just going to get these next, like, five checks. Just... Kind of doing what we call in Cage 2 Rando Community the shotgun approach. Oh my god, I got slapped. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We're good, we're good. So just going into each world until we find... Uh, until we get kind of all the easy chests. So we have like that initial build we can put together and then start taking on combat sequences. My stats are kind of balanced right now, and I don't have a ton of good combat tools. The best thing we have are those dry forms, limit form, master form, final form. Very, very cool stuff. Now, I got a decision to make. We can kind of jump around right here to other worlds. I think the next thing we're going to do, I just noted how Beast Castle is by far the biggest world on the board. We're going to go right over there. Normally, I like to save this kind of... Can you do a lot of the checks over there right now? Or Yeah, I can do all the way through the first boss. This is thankfully in the progression of the game. Okay. Uh, this is thankfully actually one of the first worlds you would come to. Oh, hit me one more time, boys. Come on. Oh, hit me, baby, one more time. Here, let's do this. Because I guess this does also fill up my... my uh, forms. But yeah, this is thankfully one of the first worlds you would come to in the game, so it's actually like a pretty easy world to deal with. Now, with each of the different dry forms, say, how do you level them up to seven? It's not the same as like Sora's Heart, where uh, it's just, you know, kill a bunch of things. They all level up from different stuff. Uh, so limit form right there, by using the limits, every time I use it, it gains an experience point for it. Final form, every time I kill a style of enemy in this game, the nobodies, it gains an experience point. Every time that in master form, I pick up the little dry orbs, that does it. My God, y'all need to punch me. Thank you. We got there eventually. Did I ever get a drive recovery? Let me check. I did. I'm going to go ahead and use that now. Drive recoveries, believe it or not, recover your drive. Um, so I'm going to use that because I want to level up Master Form in the next fight coming up. 
We were able to get lucky and get a little bit of movement early on. Oh, yeah, I didn't put on the high jump. Let's put on form boost. Yep. So I at least have this little baby gl baby glide to just cover ground pretty quickly. All right, so our first payout of Beast Castle, we got a Thunder. We got a Proud Fang, which is actually not unlocking a goal, but that lets us get deeper into Pride Lands, which we just left earlier, the, the Lion King world, um, which has nine points left in it. That could mean something later. And the reason why Beast Castle is like doubly value in, valuable in this is because, again, there is a goal locked in this world, that being... Oh, there's Beast Claw in here. We could do this whole world right now if we wanted to. Oh, I clicked off the thing. Boop. Um, yeah, that was Beast Claw, which is what was actually locking the end of this world and the ability to defeat Nata Zaldin. So, all right, that's two goals down. There's another one. This world is stacked. Three goals down. And by down, I mean I can get to them. I still have to play through an entire world to get to them. But uh, again, we're looking to try to get seven of those unlocked. I see a report one. So LOD has the proof of peace. Would okay. you... Sorry. No, no, please go for it. <laughs> uh, would you like... When you are able to beat a super boss, say, here... Are you going to do that while you're here? Or is kind of like the strategy to rush them all at the very end? That Definitely what you said there last. Rush them all at the very end. So kind of mm -hmm. build it up. And, you know, like with a lot of other randomizers, it's a test of efficiency in your routing. Yo, Magna. Oh, my God. There's so much cool stuff here. Um, where I'm probably, I brought point out like, oh, if it's in blue, I can do it. If it's red, I've done it. You're probably not going to see any of them turn red until the very end. And I'm probably just going to go, like, seven boss fights or, you know, a dry form or something kind of all in a row. The exception to that is if I can determine from math if they might have something that allows me to get to the rest of the seed. Uh, is that? Man, a lot of magic zero. We already got a fire. We got thunder. We got double negative combo. I'm going to put you on. I'm going to take you off. Yep. Okay. Magna is actually kind of cool for potentially pushing through Olympus Coliseum. So here with this fight, I'm going to magnet through that. Or I'm going to do a little master form explosion through that so that it won't kill me. I'm going to pick up some of these little drive orbs, the things that aren't money. And I like to go ahead and kill this guy right here with master form because it had another fire. Okay. And you see the power of the reflect right there, dealing a ton of damage, just smooshing yourself into it. Now, in order to save my drive, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave through the save point and come back in right here. So pretty cool that Master Form on level two, in addition for, you know, just leveling up drives gets me closer to a goal. They also have checks on each of their levels going two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I almost can make it. But I'm going to just go in and out. That drops me out of the form and will give me all my dry form back. You got to make sure you don't get too willy-nilly with just like throwing your dry forms out there and wasting your drive because then that can mess up your strategies for the future parts of the fight. So going through Beast Castle, we just got the skill and crossbones right there. Getting four story unlocks here in Beast Castle already. You figure it had to be something like that. Those story unlock items, the ones that actually unlock the ends of the worlds, they're the most valuable things. They're like worth the most points. So that definitely makes sense with it being a 68. Yeah, unlocking the end of Pride Lands, Beast Castle, Olympus Coliseum, and Port Royal right there. Now Port Royal, the thing about it is that is one of the, that is actually the tiniest world on the board. Only three points there. So I'm definitely not going to prioritize going there. But, you know, might stop and get the first couple of checks, and that might be about it. Coming up, doing this little mini game right here, trying to efficiently pick up the checks along the way with OK Movement while you're having to wait for Mrs. Potts and Lumiere to make their way through. Got a couple more easy checks here as we get up to Beast, and then I can kind of make the decision if I want to fight through Darkthorn or not. Should have enough stuff here early on to make that a thing. 
Uh, I will not utilize a form right here. I may just use final form for some nifty stuff on uh, the boss fight here. I whiffed one of those reflects right there. Because you, you can't just throw out reflects willy-nilly. You got to make sure they're actually connecting with the reflect dome in order to knock it back. Got Berserk Charge there. Interesting ability that we may or may not be utilizing later. We'll have to see kind of what combat tools we get with it. Oh, for the most part, just point out when tools are interesting, like when they're actually applicable. So yeah, let's definitely... I'm going back in Beast Castle. There's a couple things that could be good here. We're going to get to fight the boss. This is actually probably about the normal stats you would have when you come here in the base game. I thankfully have years of Kingdom Hearts 2 speedrun knowledge under me here. So, uh, you know, used to potentially fighting these bosses at like somewhat low level. This is, <laughs> this might even be stronger than when you normally are. Yeah, you wouldn't have like reflect and thunder and stuff like that. But first thing we're going to do is actually hold back here. Because that actually manipulates the boss into uh, doing a different attack pattern. Making him go underground, then I can catch him as he pops out of there. And then just hit him with a bunch of thunders and we're already into phase two. Also, yeah, I guess you wouldn't have final form. <laughs> like... You know, this is normally something you get at the very end of the game, but hey, that's rando, baby. That's how it works. Now, this is going to look weird. I'm just going to fly into him. Oh. Because that, for whatever reason, actually does a ton of damage. And we're going to walk in, and now we're going to utilize Beast Limit. Make sure he lands. And we're going to try to go for a stun lock. Okay. Got through it right there. Yeah, relatively low-level boss. And what this allows me to do is then immediately go into what would be much, much later in the game, the second visit here to Beast Castle. Yeah, and there's still more in here. Yeah, this is definitely worth going deeper into. I at least want the next two checks, which I can get from this very next fight. I haven't get some final form experience because this is the first instance of nobodies we're running into. Should be able to pop me up to level two. Wait for them to come in. I'm going to wait, hold that last bit of magic. And what's good about that is because since this fight is so much later in the game, the enemies are scaled up. I was able to gain three levels from doing one fight right there. So pretty good value. Our stats are okay. Strength's a little under the weather, but magic is at 22. Um, if you're wondering where I'm seeing those stats, uh, I don't think you can see them. <laughs> I was about to comment on that, but I'm pretty sure we have that part cut off. Just trust me, the magic is okay. And the strength is a little underwhelming. So these are the two additional checks we're going to get. After here, you would actually fight Zaldin, the kind of base version of him, and then the data version. We're going to save all that for later and see if he gives us something. Oh, no. oh nothing and nada. Okay, game. I hear you. I see what you're saying. Okay. that's uh, This has been eye-opening. I'm going to switch to that Keyblade. That one's better. Also, oh, Spike, we do have your stats on the screen oh, we do. Uh, above the bosses, okay. just so you know. Um, they are a little small, so depending on, you know, if chat's watching on mobile, if they're watching on a big screen TV, might uh, yeah. affect whether or not they can read those very well. Okay. But they are there. <laughs> Reading a report here in Halloween Town. We got to get in the festive spirit. It is that time of year, chat. Uh, Reading a report right off the bat that uh, Twilight Town has wisdom form. So that's already the fourth of the five forms that I know where that is. And Twilight Town is already going to be probably the next play I go to. So very cool. Halloween Town is a goal world because Vexen is one of our goals on screen today. So I want to go through here anyways. And it's actually a lot of checks, even though it doesn't have a lot of point value to it. Just because something isn't worth points doesn't mean it's not really good. There's a lot of really good, like, combo modifiers, just things that make my stats go up, like good accessories and whatnot, good keyblades, potentially, that I can run into. 
Oh, what did I just say? We got an accessory slot, which are the some of the best things you can find. That's just an additional, like, two or three magic or strength that you can use to uh, pump up your stats a little bit and allow you to kill enemies a little faster. I also got a money pouch earlier. That has, like, $5,000 in it. So uh, I am going to buy a, a big old poop load of ethers. And let me put something in that slot. Uh, let's go with the fencer earring. Go for a little more balanced attack. And now you brought up... So is there anything in particular that you're looking for right now? In terms of, like, items? Yeah, I definitely just want to find those... Uh, any of those world unlocks we were talking about right there. So, like... They're the things that allow me to get to the different goals. So, like, one, you got Data Zigbar down there in the second slot. That would be from Mulan's sword, because he's at the end of Land of Dragons, which would be the sword of the ancestors, mm. it's the one that's going to be cool and on fire and everything. Uh, I want to see Valor form. That's the last of the forms that I don't know about. Um, to do the membership card to give me access to Sephiroth, the Bone Fist, like, uh, like Jack Skellington's, for this world, we get me access to Vexen, and uh, oh yeah, the membership card actually gives me access to two bosses because there are two bosses at the end of Hollow Bastion, both Sephiroth and uh, Mister Data Demix. So, uh, let's do at least the first little shotgun here of Olympus Coliseum. I, <laughs> I tell you what, I really want to go to a hundred acre wood. It <laughs> Derpy would be proud right now. I really want to go there, but I don't have any torn pages yet. I could go there to just get three checks, but I generally like to combine my trips a little bit. So there are five torn pages in this world. And if you're looking at the worlds below me, they cost seven points. All the various important checks that make up the point totals for each of these worlds, all of them are either going to cost nine, seven, five, or three points. Torn pages cost seven. And you might say, like, those seem like random numbers. It's so that you can play the math and look at like, okay, uh, up there that top right icon, the one with the eight, that's actually dry forms. That's an eight pointer. Seven can't go into eight with that system because there aren't, isn't anything that costs one point. So I know that drives are not going to give me any of my torn pages. So you can kind of play around that a little bit. Yo, my boy Stitch, let's go. Can you can you do me a favor, Spike? And we have a lot of newer people who may have missed the beginning of this yes. run who are a bit confused about what you mean when you're talking about points. Yes. So the points are what you see below me on the tracker uh, next to each of those little rows, the little icons. So that top left number, that's a 14. That's actually in relation to what's on Sora's heart, as we call it. It's when I level up, I may, may get those things. And those are basically just the major important items that as I find them, the number will go down and it will fill in what those were. Um, so I can use those numbers to basically determine the total value of the world and what could be in there. Again, like, that's the sort of stuff you can kind of turn your brain off if you don't really want to pay attention to that stuff. The simplest way to put it is the bigger the number, the better that world is. But again, I'm balancing that with wanting to make sure I am working towards seven of our eight on-screen goals at the bottom of the tracker, denoted by whichever ones are in blue, I am able to get to them right now with the items I have. Found another glide there earlier, allowing me to just glide across the screen a lot faster. That's very good. And as you can see from those eight goals down there, I already have access to three of them. I could defeat Data Zaldin, um, Absent Silhouette Zexian, little book boy, little nerd. And uh, Data Roxas. So all those worlds will be played into pretty quickly. Beast Castle, I might be fa fighting Zaldin or even Data Zaldin a little earlier than expected if, uh, if he's, like, locking another goal. Because that could be the case. Like we were talking about with 100 Acre Wood. Like, yeeting the bear, going through 100 Acre Wood isn't necessarily a goal. But it might lock, like, two, three other goals with what's in there, and I have to do it anyways. And that's the fun of it. Sometimes you play randomizers because you want to get hecked. You want to get screwed over. 
With this fight right here, this is one of your best places to actually level up final form. There's a lot of super low level uh, nobodies here. And I'm actually just going to be using physical combos because I want to end this fight as quickly as I can. And it's one of those fights that ends as soon as you've just dealt enough hits. Ooh, there's wisdom form. Um, so by doing final form, you can see you're doing like 17, 18 hits every time you like touch an enemy there. So, okay. Twilight Town to Note is another world that doesn't have a goal at the end of it. This is where you would fight Data Axel. And whenever I say data, if you're like, what, what does data mean? Data is the, uh, the, the memory of that character in the base game. Uh, and they are super, super hard. They have like 17 health bars. If you watch like GDQ data org runs, it's all the like hardest bosses in the game, all fought back to back to back. And what's cool about this category is it kind of like combines those things together in a way. That at the end, we're going to get our own sort of like boss rush. Also, I'm so happy. I have every accessory slot for Max that you can get. Uh, this is probably still our best Keyblade. Yeah, I'm just making sure. Yeah, I'm going to roll with that for a little bit. Boop, boop. Just kind of looking over my different options. Uh, and I definitely want to give you something better. So let's give you the old Air Combo Plus. Boop, boop. All right. And go into the boss fight. Still 14 points left here in Twilight Town. So that's potentially one or two goal unlocks in here. Do I have drive converter? I do have a drive converter. I could probably try to level up some stuff. I probably just want to level up wisdom form right here. Because again, those drives are a goal. So you want to try to balance leveling them up as you go through the seed. I'll say Magnera is already hotkeyed. Wisdom form, again, every form levels up from different stuff. Wisdom form levels up every time you defeat a Heartless. So this one, quick five pack right there. Going to get another five right here. And these are with the randomizer and like all settings you do. You can play them with like vanilla experience. Everything's boosted on this. So that you can basically go through this entire game in a randomizer setting where like everything's a lot faster. You can skip a lot of the slower sequence sequences. You can get it all done in like two hours, which is what we're going to try to do while fighting a bunch of super hard, hard super bosses at the end. Super, super hard. Do a little ring around the rosy here. And I started getting wisdom up to level three. And another way with how dry forms work in this, how you can actually level them up, when you only have one form, and this is how it works in the base game as well, you can only get that form up to uh, level three. Once you have two forms, you can get both of those forms up to level four. Once you have three to five, four to six, only once you have all five forms can you get them to seven. So that's why... Sometimes you want to hold off on a good spot, you know, where you can level up one of the forms until you have all five of them. So you can just send it all the way to seven. Twilight Town still holding out on us. Still 14 points here. This is not a goal world, but I do have the ability because of that picture I found earlier to go one step deeper in here. I'm going to like to do that. Take final form in. We can get final form to level four and look at about three more checks while gaining potentially a level or two on this Sandlot fight. After that, though, I can't go back to Twilight Town until I get the next world unlocked for it, which would be uh, the ice cream, actually. And if you play Kingdom Hearts, you know to cry at the thought of the ice cream. Axel and Roxas, good boys. Ooh, love that flash step right there. Very good combo modifier. And right there, utilizing a technique where I'm reflecting that Claymore coming back and immediately popping it into a magnet so that the reflect and the magnet splash damage go off at the same time and they take massive, massive damage. Dang, in final form, because of all those accessories I have, I already have 38 magic, which might not mean anything to you as a big old number. And that was actual final form. This place was bait. I'm upset. 
Because we already forced Final Form. I don't actually need Final Form. So, well, okay, now I know I don't need to go back to Twilight Town. So that world is for all intents and purposes for the for this seed basically done. May go back there later for some grinding. And speaking of worlds that are basically done, Port Royal, smallest world on the board. It's only got those three points in that bottom right corner, one up from the bottom. So uh, I'm probably not going back there. You mentioned you might go back to Twilight Town for grinding. Is that something that often happens in these runs, that you have to grind before the bosses or something? Yeah, it would be specifically so I could grind up final form because it's okay. really easy to just not actually have access to a good area with a... Uh, ooh, aerial dodge. Um, not have access to the thing in the... Where's the stuff? Uh, not actually have access to nobodies. Um, cause they're only in like so many sequences of the game. So might go back there later just so there are nobodies I can defeat and get final form up to, excuse me, up to level seven. So did find Reflera right there upgrading from baby reflect up to Reflera. That's actually a really good upgrade cause now stuff will just, uh, Stuff will get hit from further away on the splash damage. It actually doesn't do increased damage when you go from Baby Reflect to Reflera. Um, it just makes it to where it's a lot easier to connect it. And also a good thing we found right there, we found Scan. We can see the health bars. I've always said Scan's just better for the showcase of this game because you can actually see the health bars, how much damage am I doing or not doing. So... We will slap that sucker on real quick. And once again, it's not a goal world. It's not a world I necessarily have to play through, but it, uh, it's got nine points left in it. And all of those major, every item that I want right now, all of them, you know what? We're going through, we're going to SDT. Um, every, uh, world that, uh, world unlock item i'm looking for they all cost nine points so anything on the tracker below if you see it costs nine points red flag should be going off oh there might be something there that might be one of the things that spike needs to beat the seed but anyway we got a lot of cool tools i popped off earlier about flash step that is a ground based gap closer um and that's just really good for like I, you know if I need to close the gap really quickly up on an enemy, that can make the difference. Oh, that was awful. So here we are. This is basically the tutorial world, simulated Twilight Town. Uh, what's fun about Rando, they got a bunch of quality of life stuff in it. You also can just use a thunderbolt on your, your town rival to uh, get through the fight a little bit faster. This is the, normally the first sequence of the game. Normally, Roxas cannot fly. I recommend everyone, if you're a little squeamish, do not look at Ro look at Roxas's left foot whenever he goes to glide because it uh, is a little messed up. He also can turn into Sora here with Limit Form. Unique thing about Limit Form is that you actually don't need your other party members in order to pop into it. So, therefore, Roxas can actually use it. Because for all intents and purposes, he's the same thing as Sora. He just doesn't have party members, so he can't go into, like, final form, master form, wisdom form, valor form, which normally need to take your other party members in order to use it. Limit form being a, uh, a form that was exclusive to the final mix version of this game. Oh, yeah, I forgot that aerial dodge I got. Aerial Dodge is another really good piece of movement because it gives you that initial like boost of momentum into your glide. So you'll see runners do that all the time. Jump, aerial, gl or aerial dodge, then glide. You have a lot of momentum behind it. 24 points here in Simulated Twilight Town. I'll try to point out which world I am in based on the rows below me. Uh, and that's the second one on the left column right there, the one with the 24 next to it. Generally a slower world, but this is a goal world. Data Roxas, you do have to fight him at the end of this world. 24 points is the third biggest world on the board at this point. And because I have limit form, that will speed up the process of uh, just doing all the combat here. And it will get me limit form levels as I go through, which also works into the drive goals. Ooh, our first set of torn pages. That is the second room of 100 Acre Wood that we can go into. If y'all are rooting for us to yeet the bear, y'all like to see that. 
Please. I demand I'll, it. <laughs> I don't even, I wouldn't even like to see it. I demand, I demand it on my show. Hey, wait. <laughs> it, it my. This is my show, Spike. <laughs> Ooh. And there might be a second torn page here in Simulated Twilight Town, which. So we probably don't need to keep going through here. I'm going to at least do this fight. There's like a good little pack of checks after this. Pump them full of some Thunderbolt. We're pulling the Pikachu strats right here. And shout outs to Sonic Shadow Silver 2, Zack the Robot, and all the other devs of Kingdom Hearts 2 Randomizer that a lot of what they do adding all these quality of lives, speeding up sequences like this. This is not nearly as slow as it is in the base game. And I'm going to pop in a limit form to try to finish it off with this so that once again, I can get another limit form experience point off of that and get Blizzard. That's my first Blizzard right there. So is that all baby magics? It is. We actually have all baby magics. That's pretty cool. I like that. Blizzard not as sexy as like thunder and fire in a lot of situations. Um, but it definitely can give you a nice little shotgun of sorts that you get to utilize throughout the run. That did get limit to five. Again, we got to get all of our drives to seven if we want to complete that goal. Um, but right now, I don't have Valor Form, so I can only get them all up to six. And man... <laughs> If you're if you're watching this game, you, like this little tournament, this little uh, this little struggle tournament right here, transforming into another character and then utilizing Ragnarok to just like blow yourself, blow the character up and give yourself 200 orbs. That's got to be cheating. But now we're gonna take it out on Vivi. I love Vivi. Final Fantasy Nine, best Final Fantasy. Don't at me. He did lose. That was unfortunate. For whatever reason, the limit experience points don't actually go up while you have the struggle bat on there, but it will do it here uh, for these various fights as soon as you actually have a Keyblade in your hand. Unfortunately, I'm killing them too quickly because you don't gain the limit form experience point for doing a limit until you do the last hit of the limit. So right there, that one counted because I... The way the damage scaling in this game works, I know that if I use Sonic Rave right there, that will always defeat Axel, whether my stats are super, super low or they're 100. It doesn't matter. Because this game has damage floors that it that it makes sure that you can deal, but it also has damage caps all over the place. That's why it seems like, oh, you're way higher level than you would be at this tutorial range. Why aren't enemies dying even faster? Not that that looks like enemies are dying slowly. They're dying in about five seconds, but yeah. there is a limit I have to work around. So I'm always looking over at my stats throughout these to make sure like, okay, in a little drop down of, stra of uh, strategies I can do in this combat sequence, what should I do? Knowing kind of where I'm going to put their health bar, knowing where I want to stop their health bar so I skip over longer attacks by them, so on and so forth. So now we finally get to come over here. Generally, you'll see if this is not a goal world, most people won't come here because it might have seemed like I was getting tons of checks earlier in other worlds. I've had to go you know, close to 10 minutes in here, and I'm just now seeing the fruits of my labor paying off. Once again, don't look at his left foot. It just kind of wiggles around. Hey, they made the animation work. Shouts to the rando dev team. So there's one more here. I want to see one more torn page, man. I want you to show me. I want to go there and be able to get the first nine checks. Things that cost seven in this game are the torn pages and the proofs, which are generally the thing that allows you to beat this game. They're uh, the proofs for uh, being able to get to final Zemnus, which is at least... What that does in the rando, it's not casually what they do at all. They're really just proof that you did all the, like, super bosses and whatnot. But 
was good. Whatever. I was probably going to do all this stuff anyways to prep Data Roxas. He's one of the only goals. The reason why he started blue at the start of this is just one of the only like three worlds that don't have a world unlock item that I need to find in order to open up further. Akin to like in Ocarina of Time, you need the hook shot to get into the forest temple and whatnot. Oh, I shot off too early right there. There's three instances of Ragnarok. You need to use the last one. So I'm kind of sandbagging right here, and I, I'll, I'll get the limit where it needs to be. Might just be a little later. And Rhino drives that top right column on the, uh, or the top right, <laughs> top right row on the second column, on the right column. That little star up there. Only three points still here, so there's not a ton of value. It'd probably just be one more hint, which may or may not be useful. So let's see here. Let's already start planning out. You want to be doing any time with a randomizer. You want to be planning out what is your next, uh, what is your next action? I would like to go to a hundred acre wood. I may hold out slightly longer. I probably shouldn't because <laughs> it's 39 points. Again, bigger numbers generally are just better. Um, let's go over these two checks. This world is almost done. And then it's just going to be sitting here waiting for the end. We got another set of torn pages. This is what we like to see. All right. So that is already half of a 100 acre wood unlocked. I don't know why I'm popping off. This is not a goal world. But Nuke said she was going to be unhappy. She demanded it. I got to find this sucker. Whether we like it or not, we got to eat this. How many? Bear. Remind me how many pages we have. We have two and there are five total. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah, we, st <laughs> we got to we got we got to get Where's going. Where's a ways to go? The thing about it is, a hundred acre wood is very backloaded. So, like, with that mm -hmm. number being so big, with that number being so big, odds are pretty good. I may have to find at least four torn pages, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I only have three goals unlocked right now. We were popping off about those two quick ones early. Oh, God, my game just chugged for some reason. Yeah, everyone, don't worry. That was not your frames dropping. The game was just like, oh, he's playing too powerfully. Man, as a kid, this sequence <laughs> where you bust out the two Keyblades, 2006, that was so cool. It's cool now. It's almost 2023, and I'm still like, man, that's pretty cool, Roxas. Good job, dude. All right, so that is that world completely prepped. Next time we come here, we're fighting Data Roxas. Probably going to be one of the last things we do in the seed. But for now, we're going to go at least think about yeeting that bear. And then, yeah, we probably need to start working over towards the two other, or I guess the biggest world besides that, is uh, Disney Castle. Another world with no goals in it. But a lot of points. All right, bam. We're already starting off up to Blizzara. And there's Valor form. I can't believe it. I can't believe we have all the forms. That's ridiculous. That is redonkulous. Yeah. So we can, at our leisure, really think how to be as efficient as possible with leveling up our forms. Man, if I had turned around and just went here at the beginning of the seed, bam. I could have got Valor form leveled up. I'm going to do this mini game. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, anybody who's played the Kingdom Hearts series, you know, 100 Acre Wood, they just like throw a bunch of mini games in it. Uh, this one's pretty hard to do. I'm going to stay on this right side of the screen. And I'm going to press the X button a lot. Oh. This one's so goofy every time I see it. <laughs> Big old spin to win. <laughs> like, I don't even get uh, the point of the mini game because you're just, you're just, you're just going. You're just going. You're just you are vibing. Surely Piglet has to be vomiting right now. Or, oh, gosh. Or I guess it's Poo, Poo's on his back. Poo, my man's having a tough time, dude. All right, chat, I want to hear it. Everybody, one of my favorite rides, the Nukes and I like to partake in every time we go to Disney World. We like the Poo Honey Pot Slider. Honey Pot Slider. That's what it's called in Kingdom Hearts. Honey Pot Slider. <laughs> That's what the next mini game is called. The, the little Poo Poo Bear ride. The, 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 the little Poo Bear Honey Pots. Um, what's everyone's favorite Disney World ride? Or just attraction ride at like wherever you like to go. What's everyone's favorite? <laughs> I'm asking this because I'm about to do another one. <laughs> and this is the longer one. 
I think we're probably just gonna go deeper in here. We're we just gonna go deeper. You wanna you wanna know what my favorite one is? Guardians of the Galaxy. Holy buckets! Oh my god, <laughs> it's so cool. That one's so good. That one's so good. Yeah, for anyone who's like, ah, it's probably not worth the hype. It was so worth the hype. I want to go back right now. Can we stop the show? Can we just get on a plane ride right now and just go back? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> we could try. That's weird. We had, a, we had a show slotted for this hour. Why, why, why is GDQ not live? <laughs> oh, Nukes and Spike stole Richard and uh, got on the plane. <laughs> they had to go to Disney. Richard, blink two times if you're down to go right now. <laughs> no one has to know. <laughs> and Dysus might be upset <laughs> after this show. This is another mini game that was just sped up. This is way, way faster than you would go in the base game, which is funny because now <laughs> I'm so used to this speed. I can't imagine it going slower than this. And people will come in there like, oh, my God. <laughs> Somehow of all the things we're doing, this is the most impressive thing that we're like not getting that hit that much in this. But my God, what a gaming God. All right. Well, we didn't get a ton there. We did get Valor form, so that's super sick. I'm going to go to Disney Castle because that's now the biggest world. And we are still needing... Are we going to push Minnie? Are we going to push that mouse? <laughs> are we going to push that mouse? This is actually unironically one of the hardest strats in the game, and it's literally just pushing an NPC across the floor. Oh, Richard! Richard said he's down. Ah! Hey, chat, y'all, y'all want to just like take this show and we'll all go oh, to Disney? Right I thought now. you were gonna just invite everyone in the <laughs> chat. Like, let's go. I just did. Everybody, oh, you did. I, okay, I that's you I interpret. Y'all, you have to buy your own pass, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can't do much for you. Yo, two more aerial dodges. Nice. We're going real fast now, and I'm actually we could speed run the Disney Yo, rides. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Um, I'm going to just stop here real quick for just like one, two, three. Just take out some Heartless right there. Bam. Just a little stop. I probably should have done like Valor form there. Um, but yeah, we also found Second Chance, one of the best abilities in the game because it allows me to not die super easily. And I like that. Um, boop, put you on. Uh, did we ever find another cool keyblade? Uh, ooh, that fire blues, fire blues. I got that fire blues up in her. Okay, <laughs> nice. Um, oh, and I was gonna check the Donald stats. So yeah, this is what Nukes was talking about. She was like, "Are you gonna push that mouse? Oh, we gonna try to push that mouse." So I'm gonna try to, Let's go. I'm gonna try to wedge her up against the wall and then just kind of move into ooh. her body to move her past these little trigger zones for the enemies. Oh my gosh, that dude's a legend. <gasps> That dude is a legend. I've never seen him take that angle. I'm embarrassing myself on GDQ. I mean, that's pretty pretty par for the course, honestly. Oh, get away, enemies. No. I mean, you did say this is the hardest It's track. so hard. It's because it's so easy for you to just kind of slide off of her. Oh, 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 no. Betty, get over here. Oh. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Chat, don't worry. That was, that was frame perfect. I lost no time there. It looks so easy, yeah, it does. too. Like, right. you would never think that that strat would be really difficult. <laughs> Which, if you're a speedrunner, you hate those strats. Anything that's just like, oh, mm -hmm. that looks so easy. Because you know YouTube comment sections are ready to go in. Oh, oh, I bet you I could do that. <laughs> I bet you I could do that. He's played this game for 14 years. <laughs> 16. This game's been out for seven. Oh, my God. <laughs> this game's been out almost 17 years. This game is almost 17 years old, Chad. That's ridiculous. Let's go. But yeah, it's always rough when there's a speedrun strat that you you want ideally all speedrun strats to look super super hard, but they're actually super easy. So the ones mm -hmm. that flip the other way, where they're actually incredibly difficult, but they look like a two year old could do them. Yeah, those those are the worst. Get all of those out of my speedruns. I can't embarrass myself like that. Yeah, because it's like that. That trick itself does not look. <laughs> impressive by any means <laughs> like you're you're pushing the mouse yep. but that's all it is it's it's really really difficult it's funny how like difficulty and speedruns can kind of like lose themselves and like lose a lot of meaning because some speedruns are just like i mean uh, this is objectively like yes a hard trick but you know maybe they've practiced it 
They practice it way more than the things that are much easier than it. And they can kind of get lost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Things happen. Saw combo boost back there. We saw a cure. So that is something that cost some points. So we're back to 100 Acre Wood is the highest value world on the board, but I can't go back there until I find at least one more torn page. Let's pop into Valor Form. Valor Form, the last of the forms we got, and it levels up just every time you deal a hit while in the form. Each of these are gaining me an experience point. So I built up a little bit. We're probably like one hit away from level two. So while I go through these four windows right here, oh, do I actually want to do that? Oh, there's so many points here. here just look, mm, man, I have to go through here. There's actually like, <laughs> if there was any worry about us filling up two and a half hours, we go and get there. Because a lot of these worlds that don't nor that don't have goals at the end of them are having stuff. There's still 15 points here. Do I keep going? Huh? Keep going. We got keep. We got keep going. We can't. We ain't got no choice. Um, ooh, an experience boost. I like. That. I like that. Uh, let me give you uh, this. Sure, it'll look great on you, honey. Um, I'll never forget coming here as a kid and thinking my TV broke. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> and like the audio's <laughs> all mixed up and everything. Yep. <laughs> We're going to do a little bit of master form leveling here because these enemies do drop some dry forms for us. <laughs> nice auto limit there. Also take master form. Uh, do I just want a wisdom form? I really want to. Mm -hmm. Which forms? Because I have all forms. I have like almost too many options. I think this is a good room for valor form. Where like magic is good, but I can build up hits pretty quickly. There it is, already popping up to level two. Nice, I already have eight drive gauge right there. Could also utilize this for like Val or for maybe some going back to like Halloween Town. Because there's a couple of just like honestly HP sponges that uh, you could level up Valor Form on. Uh, this next room, let's do let's do a little master form here as well. I'm also gonna put on drive converter, which converts all of your uh, all of the money you find because I don't really need money now that I found the money pouch from earlier. They gave me five thousand bucks. I bought a bunch of ethers uh, that will convert the money into more drive orbs. So I was able to get a nice little pack of them there. Master form is probably pretty close to level four. So I'm already like throughout all of this because drives is a goal and it all they all popped up early. I'm trying to think what's the most efficient way to level up each of them. So I've leveled up three different forms here in this group. Now we're going to pop into wisdom form for this group in order to oh get our last thing. So heart has a reflect. OK, now I know uh, in order to just most efficiently get all this stuff leveled up. I'll pop into Valor Form here because all of these hits on Boat Pete, they count as hits for Valor Form. So what's my next play? I guess we're going into Hollow Bastion. Man, the numbers are looking real small. Where is everything? They're in 100 Acre Wood. All of my goals are in 100 Acre Wood. I'm going to go to, yeah, let's do Hollow Bastion next. To know one item that we know we need, chat. Is Hollow Bass, or one item we need is the membership card. Because two of our eight goals, and I need to complete seven of them. Two torn pages, let's go, gamers! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go! Back to the bear! Let's go! <laughs> I can't believe I'm popping off! I'm so ready. When it's not a goal! I can't believe I'm popping off. I'm, I'm going to leave this stuff here. I'm just going to run out in Valor form. Um... Well, what was I just saying? Yeah, the membership card locks the deep part of Hollow Bastion, and two of our eight goals are there. So I got to do it. I got to do it. But for now, we're going to go bounce around with Tigger. This is thankfully the shortest of the mini games we got to play. And then after this, it's the big enchilada. We got to go in. OC has Stitch. Oh, we already knew that. The Promise Charm was here. 100 Acre Way down to 15 points. Okay, 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 okay. I see what you're saying. Man, I'm... 
Come on. I need one more page, though. <laughs> yeah, we need at least one more for the spooky cave, and then one more after that, potentially, to either. I'll tell you what. We find we find all the pages. I'm going to eat that bear. <laughs> that, I love how we always say yeet the bear. We don't yeet the bear at all. It's the honey pot on his head that goes eating. But they have modded this game uh, real quick. Um, yeah, let's go over here. Um, they have modded this game to where they flip sides. So you grab it by the honey pot and Pooh Bear goes eating across the map. It's great. I love it. Bless. Bless up, dude. <laughs> Get a little bit. Of, That's so much more exciting. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't have that installed tonight. I feel feel like I should have had that set up. All right, there's final form up to level five right there. All of our forms that uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know if it's like necessarily on screen or not, but all the forms are currently sitting between levels three and five. Again, got to get them all to seven. So I should be able to comfortably do. Love to see both of the combo boosts. Combo boosts basically just make your ground based finishers do more damage. In very simple terms. Oh, I haven't checked. Do we have a do we have a duck flare? No, we don't yet. Okay. No Donald limits yet. Those are like some of the most overpowered tools in the game. So because I know Uthandar, cool. Uh so because I know that uh oh my god, I might have to go there soon. Oh no. <laughs> because I know that um I have to go through Hollow Bastion. These are basically like your free checks. So no matter what, you have to go through here. And you always have to consider that when you're trying to efficiently route out a randomizer. So I got Thundara there, and that's the ice cream. Oh, what? I have so many things. <laughs> Where is everything? I have so many things and yet nothing. What is happening? Uh, I want to go somewhere over here right now. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to OC. This pushes us towards a goal. It's an available goal to us in Zexian. That kind of the fourth one from the left on the bottom of that tracker. And uh, Olympus Coliseum is another world I would say is a little bit easier. And I do not. No, I don't have the uh, Olympus uh, stone yet. So I can't actually jump drop into dry forms at this point, unfortunately. Dang, I have Fyraga. That's cool. That's actually extremely deadly. With uh combined with like final form and wisdom form and whatnot. Oh, I should have showcased uh double negative combo strats right here. It's right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in. We're going to Magnera from the top. Oh, and I'm gonna get shot in the back. Super cool combo modifier you're getting to see here in Magnet Burst, where it draws all the enemies in. I'm going to bait out this attack, reflect into a magnet, and the enemies are all dead. That was pretty cool. When you normally do a speed run, that is like the run killer. <laughs> that is absolutely poopy. What you got to do there? Because Hades, you can't do anything to him. He just sits to the side of the arena and just snipes you with fireballs all the time. If you're playing on crit, that means he's like two and three shotting you. It's really fun. It's a great way to lose runs. Anyways, let's fight Cerberus. He got three heads. So I'm going to try to utilize these multi-hitting attacks or multi-target attacks. Oh, I thought that was... That was weird. He should be coming down here pretty soon, so I'm going to reflect that into a... Th Ooh, the explosion. Let's go. So if you're playing Pokemon, you see explosion and you cry. You don't want that move. But in Kingdom Hearts, we like that move. That move is really good. That is an amazing combo finisher that I was just talking about. Let's put on it with the two combo boosts. Oh, things, things are about to die. Oh, my God. That explosion in combination with Magnera, I can draw all the enemies in and then explosion them, send them through a little meat grinder. Very cool. There's no points left on the board. I've only been playing for an hour. Where is everything? Like I just said, I simultaneously have everything and nothing. So here's chat. Y'all can play at home as well if you like doing math. I know all y'all out there. Like, oh, I love math. This is why I'm turning into GDQ. I don't know. How many of these worlds can a seven go into? 
Why am I doing that? So there could be a seven here in Olympus Coliseum. That's the only thing on the left column of worlds. Beast Castle could have two in it because it's 14. And 100 Acre Wood could actually have its last torn page, which would be really funny because it would have to be in Spooky Cave. And that locks the ability to yeet the bear. So you might be looking for one more torn page to get in. Kind of the power of that magnet burst we just saw drawing in all the enemies so how many seven pointers are left one two three three in four possible locations <gasps> oh oh by the power of math chat by the power of math two sevens have to be at the end of beast castle because I can't have one in each of these. Because then otherwise, two sevens don't work in Beast Castle. Otherwise, you can't just get one out of there. It has to be two. Oh. So if this is a seven, then we know the other set. Well, we already know. There's either one here or there's one back in 100 Acre Wood. You might be getting locked by having to go through Zaldan. This seed chat might be going through Zaldan or else. By the way, he's really hard. He is probably one of the two hardest bosses that we drew today. Yes, and the other one's here. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. The other seven thingy is here. I know a lot of people are probably listening right now like, what is he talking about? That's what you tune into GDQ to. A bunch of people talking about stuff that they're super passionate about, but you have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> dance, water, dance. Ah, uh, this is odd. Sad. So if Zaldan's one of the two most difficult bosses you have lined up tonight, who's the other one? Uh, the one right next to him, actually, the second one on there, Data Zigbar. He's at the end of Land of Dragons, which I should probably think about like going through there at some point. It's just kind of a low-value world at six points, and I don't have access to the goal at this point. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're both incredibly difficult. And uh, you need a very specific tool set to make them not totally suck. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. And there we are going to the spooky cave chat. We're going there and we're about to find out how valuable this 100 acre wood actually is. That's actually amazing. The math worked out to where we could logic that out. I'm not like missing something, right? No, that's how this has to be. Uh, I think right here I will utilize Valor Form. This is a good... You kind of on the easier fights where all you got to do is just kind of mash the attack button. This is like a great place to utilize... Uh, nice Olympus Stone right there. Anyone who actually plays Kingdom Hearts <laughs> would, would find that funny. Um, but uh, these are the good places just to pump Valor Form. Because all you're doing is... Basically just mashing the X button. So let me drop in and out of the world. Let me get all my drive gauge back. Because now I'm going to try to do some master form leveling right here. Did I ever find a keyblade with like a jackpot on it or something? Nope, nope. And I'm saying nah, dog. Did I, do I have one external? Got to draw. Okay, okay. Nothing else, nothing else. Every time you do a rando, it's going to be different every single time. You know this, Nukes. You play Zooters all the time. And sometimes you're just dealing with different yep. different tool sets for every single fight. I learn something almost every day that I play this. Pop into Master Form. Do the RC here. And uh, I know he didn't actually... I don't think he actually did the voice. But uh, shout-outs to... Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't think of the actor's name right now. Oh, my gosh. Uh, uh, always sunny in Philadelphia. I'm upset. I know. Oh my. I'm so upset. Oh my God. Danny DeVito. <laughs> Danny DeVito. Oh my God. I wanted to call him Phil. I just wanted to call him Phil. I was like, no. What's his human name? What's his human God. name? <laughs> What's his human form? <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad because that man's a treasure. Okay. Truly is. You know, the, there's always like that question. It's like, if you could have dinner with one person, who would it be? Hands down, Danny DeVito. Oh, yeah. What? You know. So, yeah, a lot of drive orbs you can pick up right here in this fight. Is there somewhere else where I also want to get this? Is that enough? Yeah, okay. That gets Valor to five. 
So it drives her four, five, 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 five at this point. Uh, let's just, uh, oh, we're, we're, we're going to Spooky Cave. I can't believe the amount of a hundred acre wood that is being done on stream tonight. Let's go. Because it is objectively the correct play right now. Okay, so more importantly, where are the nines? So there could be one here. Um, this is an escort sequence with, uh, all of Pooh Bear's friends to get them over there. I'm going to first leave them behind and just get all the checks, and then I'm going to restart the minigame, and then we're going to try to go through and dodge all of the little B triggers, little sequences where they get scared, and you got to take out the Bs. I'm going to try to actually just straight up jump over all of them. The membership card! Let's go! 100 Acre Wood was worth it, but we got to keep going <laughs> because we got to eat that bear. We, objectively, if you're just trying to beat the seed as fast as you can, you 100% stop doing it. Stop going through it right now. But then we wouldn't eat the bear. And guaranteed, I will have access because I have to fight Zald in this seed. Or at least you can. Oh, Tigger, what are you doing, buddy? Get over here, man. This is like I was saying. I need to jump over all these little, little uh, invisible triggers on the floor where the bees would spawn in. And once they're that close, we can talk to Pooh Bear. At some point, I promise you, chat, we're going to eat the bear voluntarily. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've watched quite a bit Cage 2 Rando. I didn't know there were bees in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal, right? You're not supposed to know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just didn't even know. <laughs> so, chat, with that, you can see six out of the eight goals on the bottom of the screen are in blue. I need. I am one item from go mode. We either need to find the sword of the ancestor, or we need to find the bone fist. Those will give me access to Data Zigbar and Absent Silhouette Vexen. Uh, that sounds like a lot of words. I'm sure some people, if you don't know Kingdom Hearts, if you know, you know, if you don't, you don't, it don't matter. But one of my two bo final bosses, I need to gain access to one of them uh, in order to be in go mode. So which of those two would you rather see? So, if I want was easier, it would be Vexen. <laughs> he don't like fire. I've got Fire Raga. Um, could be a cool showcase to fight uh, Data Zigbar, but I honestly don't have great tools for him. So, you know, that could be a problem. But we'll have mm -hmm. to see. So, to break down, what all worlds can have nines in them? Sora's heart, actually, which, again, will be leveling up. I do have an experience boost keyblade, so we could try to go experience boost a little bit. Maybe in like Space Paranoise, a little two pack. That could be fun. Why am I here? There's nothing in here. <laughs> I have all the points. Um, I, mean, I gotta go. Th I have to go through all this anyway. So these are just free checks. Um, but yeah, Sora's Heart, Pride Lands could still have it. Space Paranoids could still have it. Oh, that's it. That's literally all three of them. Oh, okay. Then. What le I'm level 20. Go mode has a 66% chance of just being on my levels. So if I were to go level up, that might do it. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to double dip. I am going to effectively try to guarantee go mode right now. Wait, 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 wait. This is Giga Brain. Wait, oh, wait. I am going to go to the Land of Dragons. Any, any fans of Mulan out there? Anybody that's like their favorite Disney movie or something? It's a good one. I don't, I feel like it's one that I've only seen once, though. What? I, I think I've only actually seen this movie one time. One and a half. How? I, I, one and a half? One and a half times because back in... I'm offended. Back in Spanish class, back in junior high, we watched the, uh, you know, the, the Spanish version so we could learn the music. So we could learn the music. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was not for the music's sake. <laughs> <laughs> so we could learn the music. So we could learn the music. <laughs> so, we, so we could learn Spanish. <laughs> no, he's like, I got it. I got it. I know I was on the journey with you. Um, what's also good about going through Land of Dragons, this is another good place just with Heartless in it. So I can utilize this place, try to level up Wisdom Form, little bit of Master Form, little bit of Limit Form. 
I could get some Valor form here on a fight. Uh, the only thing that's scary is that I might be going through this world, and it's not actually going to be my goal world, but, like, in all honesty, we're making good time, so it's fine. We're just going. We're vibing. By the way, yeah, I'm also going to, like, give away a secret. I totally have asked y'all, like, oh, what's your favorite of this? What's your favorite of that? I definitely have just been looking at the game, so I don't know what your answers have been. But I agree with all of them simultaneously. But if there are any questions in chat, I'm sure nukes can relay them. I'm sure we, we, we can get there. We can get there. I think... Honestly, Spike, now would be a good time to kind of explain once again what uh, what hit list is and what our objectives are here. Um, just for folk who may be just now joining the stream. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea. So again, hit list is a style of Kingdom Hearts 2 randomizer that I actually came up with about uh, six months ago or so, where the point of it is we are trying to gain access. I wanted to create some sort of a form of Kingdom Hearts 2 where it was kind of akin to like uh, 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 like, like like dungeons in Ocarina of Time and other just like Zelda randomizers in general where your kind of goal is you're trying to find items that allow you to get to the end of your required dungeons. I wanted it to have that dynamic. And it combines that with at the end of the seed, you do a massive boss rush of a lot of the hardest fights in the game which is what this seed does. I'm going to fight, like, at this point, six super bosses right at the end of the seed, all back to back to back to back with whatever tool set I am able to piece together throughout the course of this playthrough. Oh. So let's do that so we can clear them out. Jackpot's actually really good for master form leveling, so that's good to find right there. Um, so yeah, we have pieced some, a lot of stuff together. On the tracker below me, if you look at the very bottom, we've got those eight goals, little squares, mostly it's little character icons. Once I have turned seven of those eight blue, then uh, I am in what you would call go mode, and I am able to beat the bosses... Uh, I am able to then start running through the seed, pick up my last tools, and go for the uh, go for the sweep. Uh, real quick, reaction boost. Put on that jackpot we just got. Oh, I should have popped into a form earlier. Ooh, Spike, I have a question in Let's chat. Do it. Um, is saying, Spike, can you please explain the plot of all of Kingdom Hearts games? God. Thank okay, you. so everybody in the series is either. Uh, Sora, or they are an they are not Ansem. Oh, what's his freaking name, dude? Uh, Xehanort? Yeah, Xehanort. Yeah, Xehanort. Uh, and the way you can tell if they're Sora, they have blue eyes. Uh, if they're Ze if they have yellow eyes, then they are Xehanort. Um, uh, or they're Riku, so they have green eyes. So that's that's the only exception right there. Other than that, uh, Goofy dies. Uh, it's real sad. Um, <laughs> we're actually kind of coming up on that point where it does that. <gasps> I wasn't expecting that just to be true. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, Donald also dies after he reveals that he is the strongest mage in all of canon because uh, he uses Zeta Flare. It's pretty sick. This is a timed sequence right here, so this is going to be a good place for me to level up limit form. Again, the only other goal in addition. We, we're going to get pretty close right here. Uh, the only other goal in addition to the super bosses is that little star right there on the tracker. Once I get all five of my drive forms up to level seven, like we just got right there with uh, limit form, then uh, that is a goal completed. Limit's my first of the forms that actually got up to level seven. So from here, I still got to get Valor form, Wisdom form, Master form, and final all up there, but they're all varying degrees of like pushed along. Yeah. Eh, I got smacked. Hmm, let me see here. I'm trying to think of like what I've got left so I can efficiently level up the other forms. I could do a just little baby shot of master form right here. I could go back to Halloween Town. I think we're going to show off this kind of cool room that you often don't get to see in these settings called the bulky vendor room. If you are able to find four specific items I've already found, which would be the three proofs, 
and uh, the Promise Charm, I am able to gain access to this little room coming up here. Dude, pick it up. Just no one cares. Just pick it up. Um, then uh, you can basically level up as much as you want. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Why? Because it's fun. I... What? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong side, dude. <laughs> what? Do I not actually have the thing? <gasps> I don't have the... Wait. Oh, I don't have the... <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm not going to take this lying down. Oh, <laughs> I do have another question in chat. Um, and it simply asks, Goofy dies? Yeah. My dude died. Do we want to <laughs> run that cutscene? We could run that cutscene. <laughs> just, just run that cutscene right now. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm going over there pretty soon. We could actually. <laughs> Here's the problem. Oh yeah, I yeah for the for the stream value. Yeah, all right. I'm for it. <laughs> Honestly, eating the bear. Yeah, goofy dying. Eat, Let's eat go. the bear, goofy dying. This is gonna be the worst time ever. It's gonna be good. Um. <laughs> Where's that fun in this? Is this gonna work? <clears throat> Let me actually. This will be a little weird on normal Zalden. Get you out of here. Oh, he popped out immediately. Okay. So I'm trying to like charge up these jumps on the side. And I'm trying to also get um, Valor form hits in. Because all these are actually counting as a Valor form hit. Mmm, this is gonna be dicey if this actually works or not. Let's go. There was the proof. Okay, now I can go to the bulky vendor room. I set myself up and, you yeah. know. So you might say, oh, did you just beat a goal? That is actually on Data Zaldan, which is the next fight. That was the version I gave everybody fits his kids. We're going to fight the big boy version after that. But now I get to go to this room. All these bulky vendors just sit here. They all give me like 3,000 experience. Oh, and there's go mode. We're in go mode. We could go through there if we wanted. Hey, hey. Hey. We have hit go mode at our Also, team. I do I do have kind of related right now then uh, an actual legit question. Uh, <laughs> um, not that the others weren't yeah. legit, but like I guess in terms of what the what is going on here in the speed run. Um, how is it determined that you're able to do a boss? So when exactly is a boss turning blue? Yeah, so a boss turns blue as soon as I have found all the items that allow me to get to the end of a world. Because all these bosses are very intentionally placed at the end of a given world. So right there, the reason why I just got in go mode is because I found the Sword of the Ancestor on leveling up, which at is the item that unlocks the second half of Land of Dragons, the Mulan world, that has Data Zigbar at the end. So because of that, we are now in go mode. We can start rushing through to the end of the seats. So let me mark it blue. Data Zigbar, he is unlocked because of that Sword of the Ancestor. And now it is simply, now it's prep time. We're in go mode. I got to level up my forms as I go along. I'm going to go for some master form here first. See if I can get that to seven. I can do a little bit of final form experience after this. There's definitely some tools I don't have that I would like to have, but I don't have them. So we're going to hope we find them along the way. And we'll just kind of explain those as we go along. Okay, there's level six on Master Form. So got to get Valor up a little bit. Where am I going to get Valor up? I'm trying to think through the various fights. We do still have to go through some of Land of Dragons. I could have some good Valor Form spots. LOD two would be good. Sorry, I'm doing like some mental math right here. Um... I can definitely get Wisdom topped off going through Hollow Bastion. Valor Form is always the one where you're like, where do I do that? That one sucks. <laughs> There's some spots I could go, but it would kind of be like DLC at this point. 
Like you don't, you didn't really want to go there. But we'll make it work, chat. We'll make it work. And again, don't forget, we. Oh, honey, do you want me to go eat the bear right now? Uh, yes. Oh, of course. <laughs> Did you have to even ask me that? Yeah, I was like, we have access. I'm going to be... <laughs> it's one of the goals. It's one of the it, it... quote-unquote goals. Yes. <laughs> I think the best strat here, we have Blizzara with double Blizzard boost. Yeah, we can... oh, I, yeah, I like this. Girl, I like it like that. Let's do it. Um, boo, we got a lot of that, a lot of that. Yep, yep, that's good, that's good. All right. So my strategy here is unless Donald got his limit, he did not, uh, I'm going to pop into final form and I'm going to shoot literal icebergs at Hades because believe it or not, this dude made of fire is weak to ice. And I've got a level two blizzard with double blizzard boost abilities found. So this should chunk pretty hard. I reset. Hercules actually unironically makes this so much harder. Because he'll like knock him up in the air, knock him out of your stun lock. Pop another one. Oh, Herc. That being said, I said bad things about him. But you need to be on screen. Oh, everything hurts. Oh, he teleported up the reeds. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, just enough. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we didn't really have, like, any of the classic setups to be able to do a less garbage fight right there. So we just were like, fire is weak to ice. That's just chemistry, chat. That's just how that works. And now we pop over. Let's go ahead and customize fire. I like to have those things on the hot bars, the different magics and items and whatnot, just whatever I have to get to very, very quickly so I don't have to menu to it. If you're a gaming legend, if you're like a Sonic Shadow Silver 2, a Nin 10, basically better than me, <laughs> you can menu to those and you can look super cool. I'm taking it easy. Because these are technically nobodies, technically I can gain a final form experience point for defeating him here in final form. I'm first going to pop him up in the air with thunder. And then we are going to go for one of the most classic stun locks in this game, the final form Fyraga. For whatever reason, the enemies do not gain revenge value here. You're probably wondering what the heck is revenge value? That is one goal down. Revenge value is a hidden mechanic in the game that determines, okay, how long can you wail on a boss for before they retaliate? There's a lot of times when we're playing through the game, that's one goal down, and I'm going to go eat the bear because we got to do it. There's a lot of times in the game where we're going to hit them with a very specific set of combos to actually make them retaliate at a time that is advantageous to us. So we can usually like hit them with a reflect that knocks a bunch of damage back at them. Is there anything else here? We learned that dry forms have fire. We, yeah, we already knew that. All right, time, chat, time for the voluntary goal. Time to yeet that bear. Yeah. Oh, that's a, what? It Whoa. hit the wall. It hit an invisible. That deserved $99.99. I'm upset. <laughs> that was garbage. I'm, I'm not upset. <laughs> I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm glad one of us isn't completely devastated by that result. All right, so now we're going to go in. Uh, do you want to? I'm going to showcase a strategy that does not make sense in the context of what we're doing here. Um, this is a cool strategy just called Throne Room Skip. So there's this Sean Yu trigger that you can jump over. I okay, There's literally no reason for me to do this. It's really just to showcase cool skips. It's a trick that is only useful in randomizer where there's a bunch of checks out of logic behind Sean Yu right here that you would normally need the Sword of the Ancestor to get to. I'm going to skip over his trigger by uh, trying to do this. So. Let's go. Maintaining that height, stalling myself in the air. Let's go. 
Let's go. And then boom, completely jumping over the trigger, over that invisible trigger, and now I get access to all these checks. Now, this would actually be super valuable if you think there's stuff back here that you could need, because this is a lot. That's actually got an experience boost a little early. Not bad. Trinity limit, one of the best limits in the game. Got a ninth drive gauge. I would get this stuff anyways in the context of this. See, we got Chicken Little. We got my boy, Zach Braff. Let's go. And then do I have a drive recovery to get all that back? As cool as that was. And we got a high drive. I'll use it. And this is where I get myself arthritis because I have to equip 22 AP boosts at once. <laughs> no. oh, okay. Because I would actually like to use Valor Form here. This is probably one of the best places for me to slot a Valor Form usage. Again, another one of the first Disney bosses you would run into, Sean Yu. Dude, I never get to have duck flare for him because that would, theming wise, that's how he dies in the movie. And I never have duck flare here. He dies to rockets, dude. Okay, there's Valor level five. Two more levels there. So we've already broken him into the last phase. I'm going to tie my swing here to actually clank with his attack. And we're going to go in for the kill. Rabbit's house and Piglet's house. Two of the checks we just got right there, right on top of each other. It's a sign. We did the right thing, chat. We got that honey pot off of Pooh Bear's head, and he's better off for it. Let's keep going through LOD because it's another one of our effectively our medallion dungeons, our like required areas we got to go through. I could continue to try to get my drives built up there. Ideally, you want to see yourself fill up the drive gate or fill up all your drives kind of as you're getting to the end when you're about to face off with uh, all the other bosses. There's one, I'm going to leave Quick Run off, actually. I usually like to have one or the other on. No, once more. That's scary. Oh, this is... <laughs> now, Chad, you might be saying like, oh, Spike's only died one time. He doesn't totally suck at this game. Uh, this is going to be a really hard end game at this point. Nice little strategy right there where I did an attack. I reflected into a Trinity limit. Because what that did was he, uh, Riku right there, spoilers, smacked the reflect dome. And then by going into Trinity limit, Sora snapped to Riku and he pulled with him that splash damage of the reflect to deal a bunch of damage all at once. So there's a lot of cool ways you can like trigger that stuff right for a ton of cool for a ton of just big damage i'll take them to the bulky vendor they're fun oh i was gonna uh yeah we can do this we can do this we have nine drive yeah i can i can get a little bit of master form leveling right here this should get us close to seven Oh, come on, dog. Oh, yeah, I can actually use thunder on these guys. Is that not quite? We're not quite to seven. Master should, should be very, very close. How much world prep is even left at this point? Oh, we still got to go through. There's only one world left we have to go through. I've got to run through Hollow Bastion. And let's pop into final form because now the enemies switch over to nobodies. Basically, the more like silvery enemies here. They're supposed to represent like later game. Gather. Gather. And they're where... Uh, <clears throat> and those are the ones I have to kill in order to get final form leveled up. All right, Donald, did I really never find a staff for you? Oh, this... This, this, we're going to get through it together, chat. We're going to get through this sucker together. Do I have Genie? I don't even have Genie here. Couldn't even pull out the OG strats. All right, so got to go into this reaction command right here. Make sure that I don't fall off of him. Reflect this retaliation for massive damage. And he's already almost dead. 
This might actually set ourselves up for the swag kill. He's going to swoop down. We're going to reflect the, the swoop, and then we're going to get the RC to knock him up in the air. This might be short on damage. We'll see. Oh, so close, dude. You get him right on the landing. All right, either way, fun. Aerial Spiral. Okay, that's a, these are just like good combo modifiers. Gives you a little windmill spinneroonie in the air. That's uh, good for your air combos. And there's one more world I need to prep. We just got to go over here to, to Hollow Bastion. Hmm. Yeah, I can't get in there. I can't get that check. Well, I guess we're going to pop down over here. Uh, am I doing final form? Ooh, I'll do master form here. I think this is a good spot for master form. Because there are like, there's like a little bit of orbs you can collect here. And then I can get final form, hopefully topped off in the next fight. Here, let me also... This is objectively what I should do. I'm just going to drop into this room. Give me strength. Yeah. Kill one or bam. Okay, master form is done. And you know what? There's a check right there. I'm still kind of looking for stuff. That's honestly one of the best armors in the game, the Grand Ribbon. The ribbons are always good. The, uh, the best armor in the game is the Shock Charm Plus because that actually gives you offense. It makes your thunders actually stronger. Okay, there's final form leveled up. Final form is done. Master form is done. Limit form is done. Wisdom is going to get done right here. Going to get done. That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's pop into here. Yep, that's good. Because then I'll do a limit form stun lock on Demix. Another boss. Oh, are we watching? Are we watching Goofy die? Yes. Okay, we're doing it. I'll just it's it's one of the goals. It's one of the goals. <laughs> God, could you imagine? I mean, that's just bingo at that point. But this is a super cool strat where I'm actually going to get Demix down to under five water clones, then do the end of Trinity. All those hits I just dealt now will take out half of his health bar. I'm now going to stun lock him up in the air, pop into limit form, and go for throwing the ether up in the air and then starting the Ars Arcanum before he lands. And then keeping him stun locked to completely take him out. Because again, going back to that revenge value stuff we were talking about earlier, stuff like Final Form Fyraga, it doesn't add revenge value, so you can just keep them stun locked. And same there with the limit forms until the last hit of the limit. Just I need to make my menuing easier. Um, until the very last hit of a given limit, you're not adding any revenge value. So you actually like cut Ars Arcanum short. It's because they wanted to make sure, like, you get to do the full, like, cool combo. And it doesn't, like, they don't break out, like, instantly. All right, Wisdom Form is done. We just got to get that pesky Valor Form leveled up. Which I'll, I'll find somewhere to do it. <laughs> we might just go into a DLC room. Well, y'all read my inputs out here. Kind of a famous sequence here of the game where you got to take on... 1,000 Heartless hey, after a... Uh, his, his spike? <gasps> you missed your goal. Wait. If they... Wait. Wait. D wait. Wait. Chat's pretty upset. Wait. Wait. <laughs> wait. Is there a... If I die, where does that put me? Oh, it's gone. Chat, uh -oh. I, I tell you what. Mm. <laughs> I, I tell you what. There's this thing called YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just that's called speedrunner muscle memory baby <laughs> I'm sorry chat please forgive me listen you gotta do the commentary and everything y'all just get to like sit back and like you know eat your chips chips and dip all night watch some kingdom hearts I'm not saying your job's easy but it is objectively easier than mine Chad, I'm sorry. I can't even see y'all. I'm sure you're upset. I will never support Spike Vegeta again. He took away Goofy dying. But hey, Goofy came back to life. See, we skipped the death sequence 
so he never dies. And doesn't that just make you happier inside? Like, oh, that's good. <laughs> I, I built it up so much. And then I just, nah, cutscene skip. I'm, yeah, that's... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 17 years of muscle memory, baby. Let's go. All right. All right, so this is 1K. This is actually a pretty cool strat where I'm just going to oh, throw up a bunch of magnets and then look at the floor. We're going to make it like it's GoldenEye because that is effectively reducing lag and allows the enemies to spawn in faster. So you can see that number is basically just skyrocketing. So I'm having to just, like, stay on top of, like, moving around some more enemies spawn in. And making sure I've got my MP nice and full so I can just keep throwing in magnets. I'm almost out of ethers. In fact, I am out. So we'll probably have to drop out into limit form here, which also will just fill up my, uh, my MP gauge. Let's run. Oh, oh, they're just stun locking me. They're upset. This is like all of chat right now. They just keep blasting. They're so upset. All right, now our magic got a little higher, so now. Oh, the Hail Mary. What if this one dude killed me? It'd be pretty funny. Chad, please forgive me. <laughs> now he's lingering on it too hard. We are, uh, we're all prepped. We can fight all the bosses. Oh, this is going to be, oh, this could be awful. So, so does the run end once you complete your final boss on your list? Or do you still go do like, the final segment, I guess, of the game. It's once I defeat the final boss on the list. So now, chat, okay. we just have to decide uh, what we're doing. Um, let me, I, I'm going to first off, I'm going to go finish off uh, just leveling up Valor form. Because that's just awkwardly the last thing we have to do for drives. And that'll already be my second goal. So we just have to come in and we just have to smack things. So we have basically hit the AMA part of the run. There's Valor already six. We just kind of cycle through the uh, the windows here. There was like other spots. Like again, the goal that we didn't end up playing towards was Halloween Town. Uh, because we never found the Bone Fist. And that would have actually provided some pretty good opportunities to level up Valor form. Uh, did I just go backwards? I did. Um, but we, you know, the routing didn't quite work out. So we're just coming over here. Oh. I'm going to leave this room. The hot rods are not good because they have a lot of invincibility frames. Come on, one more. Just be level seven. Of course, Valor Form is the last one. All right, there we go. Drive Forms are done. Two goals down. Off, we gotta go do five more. So, chat. These are gonna be hard. <laughs> These are definitely gonna be hard. I'm gonna first go do the Hollow Bastion two pack. So. Here are the, the first of these five very difficult bosses we're going to do. You know what? Let's do just like one room over here. Uh, we're going to go fight Data Demix. Data Demix uh, does not like fire. So we are going to utilize Final Form Fire and Wisdom Form Fire to try to get through it. He really, for all intents and purposes, like a, uh, he's like a puzzle boss where you're trying to figure out how to clear all of his water clones, in including the super deadly 99 water clones in 30 seconds segment, all, you know, as part of like one of like nine of those phases you have to do. So there's going to be a lot of balancing how I get into that point. 
Man, I wish I had like once more or something. Uh, we're... You know what? Here's one more bonus segment we're going to do. This is called Core Skip. So normally there's a bunch of fights you have to do, but I am going to drop... Ooh, okay. It's all right. I can void out and come back in. I am going to clip out of bounds. Oh, Goofy. Come on, bro. That's why you need him to die. He screws up course. Oh, Donald! What are you doing? Oh, the boys. Okay. All right. We're going to reload the room because they very insist on getting in the way. I'm basically just trying to get a bunch of free checks here. Yeah. And it's fun showcase. This is one of the other, like, big skips you can learn when you get into cage two, Rando. All right, so we are clipped out of bounds. Let's go. So now I'm going to, I have to kind of go back and forth right there in order to uh, just like make sure I actually hit the load zone. Gonna create that shortcut for me. Now we gotta come over here. I'm gonna lock on to the middle vent. That makes it to where I can actually climb up to the top here. And now we're going to get like 15 checks out of logic to try to just find like some more tools. There's more to this. I have to jump up here, reflect, reflect a bunch, revert. And then I can aerial dodge out of the reverting there. Normally meant to be like very much a post game area with a bunch of checks in it. And what that does is I don't have to do any of the combat here. I just get all the checks. Get some drive recoveries at least. I would like to see horizontal slash a Donald staff that has duck flare or at least Fantasia on it. I would like to see once more. Um, oh, I should switch to a quick run here. I can probably like logic out. Where does it have to be? It could be an Agrabah. Yeah. There's a lot of potential places. That's right. After this, chat, it's the name of the game. We got to do a bunch of super bosses with weird tool sets, and that's what's about to happen. Another thing that happens when you get to do the little core skip is that a lot of flags in this place just don't set off. Man, we're really going to get nothing coming in here. So normally there would be a bunch of enemies in this room. There would be a bunch of steam vents that prevent your progress. All of that doesn't turn on. Yeah, we got very nothing. <laughs> we got a whole lot of nothing. Am I like, oh, you got some power boost. Your strength goes up. Because of how stats work in this game, because of how the scaling works, if my given strength or magic is not at like 60 it might as well be zero as weird as that sounds you're already hitting the damage floor and you're not getting above it i could just go for raw stats i could go for some leveling up might honestly not be it might honestly not be a bad idea let me drop into final form saying get my drive back and uh, we're, we're, we're just gonna go we're just gonna go we're just gonna figure it out Let's start off five straight super difficult super bosses coming in hot right now. Let's give Goofy a bunch of ethers because I want him to be helping me out since he didn't die and throwing ethers constantly to uh, refill up my, uh, my MP as we go through here. Boom. Seven, six. Yeah. Let's make sure we have one of these keyblades with a fire boost. Yep. That's going to overall get me a little further in this fight. Yep, it's fine. Oh, hold up. Oh, I, oh, I can get the magic up. I can get the magic up. I can get the magic up. Um, Star Charm, Shadow War Card, boom. Yeah, let's pump as much as we can into magic as possible. Oh, okay. That actually is really good. Magic coming in clutch. And then I need to switch my customize around because I actually want Blizzara and Fyraga here. And then do I have a combo plus? Perfect. I have one. All right, so again, Data Demix, his uh, biggest thing is he's more of like a puzzle boss. 
He's going to spawn a bunch of water clones. And by utilizing Blizzara, I am going to be able to turn them into note form, use their reaction command, and then start clearing them quickly with fires. So right now you got the 13 forms on screen. Use the RC. I'm going to fire as they draw in. And that's the first one down. He's going to progressively... There's like a random set he'll pull from. The biggest in this set in the first half will be 75 water clones that I have to clear very quickly. All right, here's the 50. This is the second biggest set. Pop them in. You like to stay somewhat close to him because that's where a lot of them spawn from. Let's see where the last two... This is probably the 75 pack right here. Yep. So now we got to move pretty quickly. I've got 30 seconds to clear 75 water clones. If that timer runs out, we are dead. Immediately pop it into another blizzard. That's why I like the combo plus right there. So it doesn't have the long windup of a finisher, but just a quick instant second blizzard. Bring them in. We're down to 10 seconds left, but we are going through the water clones pretty quickly. Let's save our MP. Let's bring them in and now pop into final form. I want to utilize that fire form Fyraga in order to not add any revenge value and start shredding through that health bar. This is phase two. It's the damaging phase of the fight. I'm gonna do one more right here. Pop in. Limit form for the iframes right there. Sting, dude. Okay, this... It's going to be hard. I got to figure out some way to pop into. Oh, I can use. Wait a minute. The strats. I've got a strat. Whirly goof. We have whirly goof. That unironically is probably the best strat here. So popping out of final form, this is normally where I would pop like one of Donald's limits. We never got one of Donald's limits. It's pretty unfortunate, honestly. But we do have a goofy limit from early in the game. And I want to get into MP recharge, which will allow me to get my drive gauge back up sooner in order to get in for a second final form usage. Oh, there was nothing over there. That's fine. This is probably the 75. Yep. I definitely want to see Goofy throw ethers at me once I'm obviously low on MP and not like right there where I was down 4% of my MP, but it's fine. He's thinking about me and that's all we care about. Ooh. Again, you got to move quickly here in the 75 again. We're already down to 10 seconds left. 30 water clones left on the board. Ooh, this might be a reset. Can we get there fast enough? Oh, there was 0 0.38 left Ooh. on the board. We clench him. All right, pop back into final form. Start shredding with that fire boost keyblade. Man. Okay, this is fine. Honestly, that is an okay result. Because now I'm going to pop out of here. I'm going to use that. I thought we had the... Oh, I got to re-put that on because he died. Unironically, he doesn't have it on because the story sequence killed him right there. So we need to be able to build back up to five drive right here. Okay. Um, let's see here. I could try to, I got to get to five. I got to get to five. Okay, now I need to get Donald and Goofy up off the floor. Oh, 
Oh, okay, okay. If I put the whirly goof on, I think we're good. I think we're good. I forgot. So the story sequence, unironically, takes that off of Goofy, even though I had it equipped the entire run. This is a seldom used strategy. <laughs> this is a seldom used strategy to get us there. I believe I have all my, all my like form boosts and whatnot on. It's all right. We were going too fast. This is going to get us up to the estimate. And I don't have once more, so if I get combo killed, I'm getting stun locked right now. It's all right. Third time's the charm. Chat, send all the good vibes. He's showing us the 75 water clones pack early. Okay, 1.41, a massive amount compared to the last time. The biggest thing is I'm just trying to get him to the end phase. You're set up well, I just have to get through the damaging phase part of the fight. The final phase where he throws all the other water clones, including that massive 99 water clone pack back at us. All right, Goofy, this would be a great time. Actually, don't use your ether on me right now, buddy. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. How did Donald and Goofy survive there? Absolute legends. So now we're going to try to wedge him in the corner because I want all of the water clones here to not move too far away. So now he's going to go through his last set. You can't skip over this part. That's why I didn't try to go for the kill right there. Pop into another one immediately into the double fire. I need to get back to three drive because I need to use wisdom form right here so I can utilize its enhanced movement with final form to shred through all of these water clones as quickly as I can. After this 13, the big 99 is coming in. So I'm going to do one more combo here. The 99, I've got 30 seconds so we start the entire fight over. Don't want to see that again. And now we use that enhanced movement with final form. This is why I wedged him in the corner so that the water clones don't move too far away from each other. I got 20 more water clones to take out. Oh, we're getting them. We're getting them, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Three goals down. Yeah. The we didn't need to use duck flare. We didn't need to use duck flare. God, I would love to see it. Um, <laughs> the, all, this seed so badly wanted duck flare. It so badly wanted duck flare with this set of bosses, and it didn't give it to it. But that's okay, because we're immediately going back in. We got to go fight Sephiroth. Sephiroth. I don't have to sing it. They're going to sing it well here in a second. What is happening? You can fly above that bar. That was weird. So for Sephiroth, it's a very reactionary fight. It's actually one of the least cheesable fights in the entire game. Because <clears throat> it's very random what he's going to do. I also don't have guard, which kind of blows for a lot of these fights. Um, just as a way to, as you would imagine, protect yourself. I'm going to put on Retaliating Slash. Um, it's actually good very specifically just for him. I I'm going to talk to the Mushrooms here. They got two checks. They could have a Donald staff with Duck Flare. Eva, I'll take Fantasia, man. <laughs> Chad, I want you to know it is a miracle that that final form worked back there. That was incredible. Um, but uh, yeah, going for gold number four. We got Sephiroth right here. Uh, the combo plus should be fine. Yeah, the combo plus is actually going to make this better. 
So immediately, hit that triangle button. Y'all know it. Kingdom Hearts 2. Triangle is the win button. So I'm going to have to, because I don't have guard, I'm going to bait out his attacks with a little quick run spacing. Reflect the end of the combo and then flash step in that gap closer I was talking about early on. And I got to make sure that my spacing is very specific to actually catch him. I'm going to reflect away all the orbs. Here we are in phase two. And I'm going to reflect and then carry that splash damage with Trinity Limit like you saw earlier. Got him down to about a little under eight bars of health left. Oh, okay. He's trying to take away all my HP and my MP right there. Don't want to see it. Whoa, he was trying to get a little spicy right there. I was expecting a teleport. He didn't give it to me. This should push him to the final phase. So I'm going to try to time my combo right here to end on the explosion, staggering him out of his attack, and then go for another one. Oh, okay. He was nice. You actually want to see him go for that, even though that's a guaranteed one shot. Oh, okay. We're going to do another carried splash damage attack with reflecting those fire pillars into the Trinity limit. Keep him stun locked. Boop. And all right. Sephiroth first try. Let's go. We are leaning into what our build does well. And it's with, we're not very strong, but we're very intelligent this seed. We had a lot of magic to work with. And that explosion at the end of the uh, combos, that actually pulls on your magic stat. So, very good to have. That being said, let me take off that combo plus I had from earlier. Because now we're going to go fight Data Roxas. First one we prepped. This is an incredible boss fight to get to watch. If I am able to do it correctly, we'll see what happens. We're going to try to take limit form and by stealing away his keyblades, try to effectively keep him stun locked the entire fight and knowing exactly when he's going to retaliate because of that revenge value in order to send the attacks right back at him. Utilize the iframes of Ars Arcanum, that limit. And keeping our MP full while we keep him stun locked with the Keyblades. So the first phase, I'm trying to deal as much damage as I can. I don't want to deal more than four bars of health to him, though. Hit him with the explosion. Reflect the retaliation. Wait to see what he does. Again, I don't have guard, so I may pause buffer a lot of these. Okay. Because there's one of two attacks he can do right there. That is the favorable one. Let's jump and reflect into him to make sure that the splash damage of that actually hits. I would like to maximize my damage here. Whew, yep. <laughs> That's why you got a pause buff for that. Because that would 100% kill us right now. Okay, we've done over three bars. He should be going in. Yep. I'm going to pause buffer out to see where this minigame lands. And then go for the Trinity Limit to phase through his pillars right there. And now I've got his Keyblades, which will deal constant chip damage. And more importantly, keep him stun locked the entire time. Two hits going into it. And then we're going to go for one full combo, two full combos. Ours Arcanum right after it. Four, five, six. Do another combo, pop an ether right afterwards. Start another Ars Arcanum through that. Five, six. And now we gotta make sure that is filled up enough. We got him down to right about four bars of health. Hit him with another set. It's over. And GG. We we let him have it back there at the end. He got a little spaghetti. 
but we were able to still secure the dub, keeping him stun locked, just knowing exactly where he's going to retaliate every time because the first half of ours Arcanum do, does give you those iframe properties. And with that, now we got two bosses left, the two hardest bosses, and we don't have Duck Flare for either one of them. We are first going to try to go take on Zigbar. No Duck Flare. No horizontal slash, the best combo modifier you can find. I'm going to check Donald one more time. We didn't find, like, any Donald staffs, period. <laughs> that was just, all right. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try to utilize Final Form Fyraga in the air to actually extend our combos to the ground and then giving ourselves a combo reset once we hit the floor to extend it further into more combos. This is going to be the hardest fight. Without a doubt, this is going to be the hardest fight. So I need to reflect two sets back at him. That gives you a stun lock. Another one, just like Sephiroth, I got to kind of react to whatever he's going to give me right here. We're using Whirly Goof in the air because I need to, uh... <laughs> I need to fill up this drive gauge. Okay, he's pulling me into the other room. Come on, give me that five gauge, baby. Oh, he is. Oh, what are you doing in here? Okay, um, this is a little worrisome. Oh. Oh, my goodness, dude. What do you even do? No guard. I'm going to put on a combo plus to give myself more potential to actually knock these back. This, this is rough. <laughs> I told you I could go on. Yeah, I think we should have those on. Uh, let me also go through so I can actually save that. For like, yeah, GDQ, they were like, yeah, you know, let's give you like the weirdest, worst combo set period to deal with uh, the bosses that want you to have guard, want you to have duck flare. So we're uh, we're just gonna we're just, we're just kind of figuring it out. We were able to get back to five drive there, but then weirdly he went into that uh, that sniper scope position. Two back to stun him. Okay, let's give it another shot. Hmm. Hmm. How are... 
how how do we do this? Um, so I definitely need to not run. I should probably put on some elixirs just so I can have less items need to be thrown. No guard, no once more, no duck flare, no horizontal slash. This is such a rough build for this fight. I believe. For the eye frames while he does his thing. Okay, he's sending me into the other room. What the? Why did that deal damage? Just accept it. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that. Okay, wait. Okay, once again, we are trying to build back up to five drive gauge. So I'm doing little hits here to not go for the finisher. Okay, we were able to build back up to five drive right here. He's really high up in the air, so I'm actually going to switch to magnet to try to reset it. He has entered DM phase. Okay, so now he's going to go. He is invincible during this part, so we are simply trying to survive. Now we're going to fly around the arena. I'm going to try to bait out a long-range attack from him to get two sets of lasers to come back because every set of two, that will give me a stun on him. Baited out. We are down to the final four bars of health, but he has got a lot of tricks left up his sleeve. Whoa, I didn't do that. We were going to die. Oh, okay, okay, okay. For this one, we are going to put a bunch of elixirs on because we need maximum opportunity to survive this. So let's go mega elixir, mega elixir. Oh. I, I can't believe we drew this I, boss in I'm, this position. Yeah, I was just sitting here like, come on, on the edge of my seat. Yeah, it's, we don't, <laughs> oh. we are just short. <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you, Chad, these, these are the situations you sometimes get in with cage two animals. It's okay. We, we, we had to fill up to the two and a half hours anyways. These are the situations where... There are like five tools we're missing that you would normally have. If I have any one of them, he's dead right now. I don't think that one actually... No, it went off. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I got mixed up in a sub menu right there. Because I do think right, I want to just this leave. This is it. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. It's totally fine. This is it. This is it right here. Calling it. And this is where, like, you can always make the choice. Just go find stuff. But, you know, it's in a big world of things. You don't know where those necessarily are. It is random which of the opening rooms he'll go into. He's low enough to where I can go for the fire extension here. Oh, 
Okay. This. Back off. Back off. Oh, one fit in oh. between the reflect there. Are you kidding? Because hey. I was going to try to set up for a potential Berserk Charge strat where you can do an infinite combo, you, you just lose your finishers. <gasps> can you believe, Spike, that watching the goofy dying cutscene <laughs> had duck flare the whole had duck time? Flare. That's where the check was, man. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's try this. Dude, don't read the inputs. Bro, don't read my inputs. Yeah, and trying to butter him up just so I can get to... Ooh, can I get to him fast enough? Tell me if you've heard this somewhere, chat. Donald Duck is dead, so uh, that was... How do you... I don't understand. I actually, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't understand how to, like, that's, <laughs> I, I'm pressing the triangle button. I never get to that point. I've never fought him this under tooled. <sighs> okay, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. <laughs> we still got 15 minutes left. Dana Zaldin is going to be hard. This is by far, this is like monster difficulty. Oh, this is I dropped an input. He's lower. Let's go for this. Need to see that get to. Okay. He's high up in the air. We got to go for the magnet extension. Okay. 
fine. I wonder if I can just slow play this. Nah, just throw the ether. Got to make sure I have my MP back coming out of this. So once again, we're going to be sitting here, chat, afterwards, just trying to piece together how to get nearly two bars of health left. Maybe more than that. Oh, this is... Chat, I, I, unless we play perfectly, I actually don't, I, I, I don't know if we have, this is like the perfect build to not be able to fight this guy. <laughs> like not having a, oh no. like not having a guard is so bad. Because then I have to use up all my MP to fill that up. I, I tell you what, we're going to give this one more try here. I'm going to go fight Data Zaldin, and then we will come back to him after this. Data Zaldin's also going to be really hard, but I can make it work with the tool set. This is like it, you, this is like planned out worst possible build to fight this guy. I'm gonna I tell you what chat I'm gonna try something This was not an ideal pattern to get from him right here trying this. No, don't do this. I don't know what to do here, man. Okay, we are, you have to be on the ground for that to work, apparently. So that'll pull him out of here. I need to get to... Because I need to get as much as I can out of the final forms as possible. All right, into his DM. I've got a little bit left. We're in like a similar boat that we've been. I've got the Mega Elixirs left, left after that. I know there's like a loop you can do here at the end where you loop the DMs. Like we're truly like scraping the bottom of the barrel. Now. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, honestly, yeah, I will take the DM right now. That is actually serviceable. Because now I'm going to try to bait out the long attack again. We're going to try to get him with two reflects. I then need to cure and try to fill up as much as I can on my drive gauge. Okay, let's go fight. No! Let's go fight the other boss. Let's. Uh, I thought for sure uh, that was it. I, I really believed. I, I'm telling you, chat. Oh. There are four tools. This fight's done. There are four tools. I have none of them. All right, let's go fight him to break up the monotony of death cycling to... Uh, and the problem is they're all like deep deaths. It's just we physically do not have the strength to get to the end. It's 17 bars. If he had 16 bars, we'd be out of the fight. I don't have like a Donald limit to give me iframes and deal massive damage inside of that. I don't have horizontal slash to go for any sort of like a stun lock combo or anything. All right, so we're going to try to, like, just build up as many jumps as we can and try to go with for a little loop here. And I'm going to try to jump and aerial dodge his attacks right afterwards. This is yet another fight that really likes having Duck Flare. I don't have that. So uh, I've got to put out a pretty hard mash to build up as many jumps as I possibly can each time. Got to see what he's going to do. Thankfully, we had a couple of reaction boosts, which the jumps charge up with there. Now I'm going to try to glide up against the wall. Reflect time this. And then slam that into nine more jumps. He should be just about at his DM face. Ooh, he's being nice. He's giving me another set of jumps. He's going to give me one more. Get him in the corner right here. Three, six. He's got seven. Yeah, so this is going to get him down to... About six bars of health, and then we should start seeing the DM phase. Yeah. So now I'm going to try to loop his DM over here, bait him to this spot, so then I can run to the corner, I can save myself some MP, and I need to make sure I've got on my hot bar Magnera, because I'm try going to try to flinch him to the point where he'll give me those jump combos again. It is RNG at this point if he gives me the correct attacks, but we're going to try to keep him up in this corner the entire time. Make sure we hot bar magnet again. Draw him over to the side. Stay safe over here. Jump over him. Magnet again. Oh, he is giving me the worst RNG. Come on, man. Goofy being a bro. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Oh, my goodness. That... 
Chat, I've never seen that bad of RNG. <laughs> I ran out of MP. What is happening? All right. Let's do it again. I could hop, I could put magnet on my hot keys right there, also to make the menuing a little less complicated. Okay, I wanted to get the stagger right there. So you want to see him jump, and he gave me the not good RNG every single time. To where I was just physically running out of MP. <sighs> He's coming down really far. Once again, I don't have guard. I don't have duck flare. They will both be really good for this. Ah, I mean, I don't think we have the time. I don't think we have the time anyways to go looking for these. Like, I have a spoiler log somewhere. We can check. They're probably in some super trash place. These bosses tonight are given no mercy. No. It's unfortunate you don't have the right tools. Yeah, which, like, that's part of the rando. It's like you're trying to work around. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a different tool set every time. I, th this is like nightmare scenario. I can't believe the game was like, yep, yeah, here's your tool set. I don't have guard, so I have to do this dumb little aerial dodge every time to deflect him. Ugh. And he did a little walk there. I was feeling really good about that first fight, and then he just gave me actual, like, super bad RNG. I was way too close. You gotta be at like this perfect distance away. Yeah. See, I want to still get. Okay. This should bring him down three, six. He's got nine bars. He's pretty close to actually like an optimal amount of damage to get as far into his uh, DM phase. And when I say DM, I'm talking about desperation move, those like big long animation attacks. Yeah. <gasps> oh, why did you do that? <laughs> yeah, we drew Zaldin and Zigbar on the seed where you don't have guard once more, Duck Flare. I'm going to let Nukes and Richard decide how long we go for. Yeah, so uh, I was going to say, um, in the sake of time, yeah. I think it's fair if we do a spoiler log dive so you can go and get maybe something that could help this. <laughs> also, yeah, you know what? That'd be fun because let's see how bad the seed was. Like, I did all of an optional world, and it still didn't give me those. I uh, also might have some lore for you. Oh, no. What's the lore? Um, according to chat, you have Duck Flare. Oh, it's time to find out. But you know what? <laughs> Let's take a death right now and see if... Did, did, did I not see it at some point? <laughs> I, uh, I want to know because th that'll speed this up. I have Duck Flare? When did I get Duck Flare? Yeah, I'm not knowledgeable enough in this game to know exactly, but I've had a few people say that... I, I do not have Duck Flare. <laughs> So, we, we will spoil a lot where it is. We, I, I've done, I've done a hundred of these. I've never had to bust out the spoiler lock just to beat the seed. This is probably the worst seed I've ever done. This is unfortunate. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, let's go down. All right, chat keeps saying you have duck flare. Uh, what is the lore if that is true? Because <laughs> oh, no. I, I unfortunately am not knowledgeable enough, and if Spike doesn't see it, I I don't know how to direct we're, we're, him otherwise. We're never, if chat is claiming we're, this. We're never getting it. <laughs> chat, if y'all want to know, it's at the very end of the world we haven't touched. It's on Grim Reaper too, which funny enough is its vanilla position. How about guard? Guard is on. Oh my. God. God, that's also awful. It's on Luck Sword and World That Never Was. Uh, how about Horizontal Slash? Okay, okay. I, this, uh, mm, uh, mm. you know what? Let's go get this thing. How did we just get uh, this, an absolute uh, trash scene this, to showcase tonight? This is impossibly bad placement. Where's Once More? Where's Once More? It's on Genie Jafar. Chat, we were never getting <laughs> any of these. Uh, we were never going to find uh. any of those. This is planned out. Yeah, so I... <laughs> yeah, we did confirm it right there. Yeah, we... Uh, Flare Force, we do not have it. I don't know what people were seeing to think it was Flare Force. It's fine. I appreciate the help. It is a little ways here into uh, Port Royal. We're just going to go a little ways in. This is going to be a horizontal slash, and then we can try to finish the seed. Oh, why? <laughs> I'm not even actually upset. I think it's fascinating. Yeah, so it's pow. Powder store? Powder store is either. Oh, is that one? Okay. Right. Oh. Yeah, even this is gonna. This will take like three or four minutes. I will have. Th this, this is gonna take three or four minutes, and this was the best thing. This was the closest we could get. If you basically. Uh, like, if you think of it like an OOT randomizer, they're basically on the stone, bo the, the bosses at the end of every dungeon you don't have to go to. Bring it out. So we'll have to do this one minute fight right here. Is there anything cool in these? Yeah, with Horizontal Slash, I can make this work. Horizontal Slash is a really, really good combo modifier. That uh, makes your air combos. It will allow me to basically just do infinite combos. Funny enough, it's not really going to make Zaldin any easier. But Zaldin, in all honesty, we just got really unlucky. But we'll have an out for uh, for Zigbar at least. And that's part of it, honestly, when you do one of these, is you also, in addition to just finding the items you need to beat the seed, you need to make sure you're also finding the tools you need. And you're constantly questioning yourself, okay, what are the bosses I'm going to have to fight at the end? What am I, what would I like to find? And I had some ideas for tools I would like to find. <laughs> they just didn't exist. Out here, dude. Let's give Zach Braff a little love. Let's pull out Chicken Little. Have him draw in the draw in the pirates. Chicken Little works as basically another form of crowd control, like another magnet of sorts. That dude got frozen by Donald Blizzard.
Okay, finally in this next set of checks, <laughs> we will get it. Yeah. And again, this is just going to give me like a shot at Zigbar. Because all the other tools that would have like actually made sense are like, we, we were, we were, we're not going to be able to get to them in time. So yeah, one of these like two ch two checks should have it. It's either this one or the next there. I believe it's right here. Yep, there it is. All right. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Let's go. That was like Let's go. That was like It's time. That was like what? five or six minutes to go get that okay so this will give us a shot let's go take that shot <laughs> i'm first we're gonna go fight we're gonna go fight my dude first because this this fight it's gonna make a big difference in oh i need to get my drive back So what I was talking earlier about how when you're in Berserk Charge, when I have no MP, when I'm in that MP recharge state, I lose my ability to do finishers, but you gain an infinite combo. That sounds super overpowered, but they always break out of it. Unless you're using the ability Horizontal Slash, this quick little one, two, three strike in the air. So I'm still going to utilize Final Form. So what do you think? And I'm going to try to use Horizontal Slash as like the, the gap closer between those two. I have to time like when I'm gonna run out of my magic right here. Oh my gosh, what are these guys? Uh, I can't quite get the stagger off on him. I could just try to immediately go into it. Because again, without Duck Flare or, or a Comet, either of Donald's limits, I can't quite, I can't naturally go from no MP into the Horry Slashes. So we need him to just not break out at the wrong times. I hate when he gives me this dumb angle. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, so I'll have... That was that horizontal slash, which did a lot of things. It was able to pump a lot of damage, super high DPS. And it was able to get me a lot of drive back. So we're just over four bars of health with basically a full set of final form gauge. Dude, he just won't die. He just won't die. <laughs> I need to be able to block two more shots at him. All right, he is dead. Oh, my God. Let's go. God. <laughs> you suck. I don't like you. Why did this seed have to do that? It's like I said, that was... Unbelievable. It, it might look like that was just one little part of the fight. That's like I was saying. There's like four tools out there. If the game puts one of them in not a super trash position, it's fine. It's fine. This might be the worst seed I've done in the hundred of these hit lists I've done. <laughs> well, it checks out. Uh, let me do one more thing here. So I can do the same thing there for, uh, for Zaldin, but it's extremely not safe. Because if he breaks out of it, if I don't perfectly chain together every two frame hit, then, uh, I die. Because of his retaliation. Okay, I like him a little ways up in the air. Got the full set of nine. Okay, let's not go for the bonus aerial spiral. Again, you want to like barely glide up against the wall right here. So you can actually like catch all of his draws. Wait. Camera got a little messy there. That's okay. We knew where we were going. Good placement. I'm so confused. <laughs> Why did he do all that? I was not able to get him to stagger there. All right, Zaldin, we get it. We get it. We get it. Actually, I don't get that. I <laughs> he just because I was trying to reflect that back into him so that it would stagger him. But like the only option was I get hit. Like, why wasn't it ever doing that? I've never seen Zaldin do that before. So once again, I don't know what to do. But hey, that's the great thing about Rando. Every day you learn something new or you just get angry. <laughs> One or the other. Gotta do this minimum jump. 
Come on, man. I just got to take out 17 more health bars. Two. Three down. Come on. Oh my god, he delayed that so much! What are you doing? Oh, I shot off way to the sideline. He's so high up in the air. Three, six, nine. I'm not trying to sing the song. I'm just counting up his health bars. I sandbagged there, so I'm trying to get as much damage as I can. Because once he goes under, I believe it's about eight bars of health. I've never seen him up this high before. <laughs> He'll uh, go into his DM. Oh, okay, got a little lucky there. Dude, can you just give me some good RNG? Come on. Okay, get in the corner. Oh, that was very close to me dying instead. But I need to get that reflect damage in as well, just to maximize my DPS. All right. Yep, yeah, okay, here's the DM. Bring him over here. Oh, he killed me, so I don't have my magnet. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. I didn't room save it. It's all right. We need him to give us the jumpies. He needs to get the uppy uppies two times here. <laughs> okay, uppy uppies. Wait, Chad, I need the uppy uppies from y'all. That's one. I need one more <laughs> from this guy, which is not that bad. good RNG to ask for. I just need two. There. Okay, refill it up. Go over him. Bring him over here. Prep the magnet. Because every time I then go back to the menu, I have to re-prep it. Come on. We need the uppies. I'm gonna pop an elixir. Jump over and flinch. Oh my god, he's giving me the uppy uppies! He's giving me the uppy uppies! Now I just need to not die, which if I get caught by like one of these pillars, we die. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I did the reflect super early. We're gonna get the dub. That's time, GG! Yeah! Good god! <laughs> Good. What a trash scene. Oh, that was so bad. Oh, my God. That was so bad. Well, we did it. Oh, it's conquered. It's because I skipped the goofy They're dying cutscene. The hit list is down. God. All it, Everything went sour because we skipped I goofy dying, so but that's okay. Spike overpowered it with not the greatest oh, build. God. <laughs> Spike, thank you so much oh. for coming on and showcasing this for us, even though the game did not want to be showcased in the best light. <laughs> um, you did a great job working with what you were given. Um, I want to give you an opportunity to shout out yourself, shout out anything else you'd like, and let people know where to find you and what to expect if they come to your Yeah, stream. I do a lot of different things. I am a variety speedrunner, randomizer player. You can come watch me do uh, speedruns of games like Mario Odyssey, Donkey Kong Tr Con Country, Tropical Freeze, and so many other games. Um, I do randomizers of a bunch of games, including uh, Donkey Kong 64, Zelda Ocarina of Time randomizer, Majora's Mask randomizer. You can come watch me do... Uh, chat, you could watch me for the next three months do this exact settings you will not see a seat as bad as that one but you can see other cool stuff going on in the kingdom hearts 2 randomizers there's there's tons of other settings you can also place for it so yeah uh come on by check it out it's fun yeah definitely go hit that follow button we've linked it many many times it's linked right now in chat for your ease
uh, chat. This was a great showing. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to press that like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. Also go to twitch.tv slash games done quick if you're looking, if you're interested in looking at our live content starting weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. So make sure to stay tuned. We're going to take a quick break, but afterwards we've got speedrun from the crypt.